p.m. Monday through Friday. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he Here's a uh, baseball. Um, it's right next to cricket. Yeah. Which on, I believe once they really start, it'll be on that main part. They'll move. That yeah, down. it'll move up because college basketball will be. Well, no, it won't be done yet. Weirdly, I don't think these dots are in order, though, because it goes baseball, like all, all the sports after you click the dots drop down because it goes baseball first, boxing, okay, cricket, mm-hmm. horse racing, NASCAR. Uh, is that lacrosse? PLL? I don't know what the hell that is. But yeah, then professional all, lacrosse. Is league. it? And then all the way over on the right, like three columns over, is golf. I'm sorry, I refuse to believe golf is behind the game of golf. Golf, golf is not behind the G League and uh, football recruiting and professional. Well, maybe professional. Uh, all right, so baseball is in uh, is in full swing. Not really though. And the Dodgers are up five to two. Four run eighth. Four run eight for the hated Dodgers. Dumb, stupid, seeing eye singles, misplays. Uh-huh. The Padres have used. I know we're in a different time. Look at the box score there, Dave. And scroll down. Count the Padre pitchers today. Oh my lord! Exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They are in their eighth pitcher. And it was two one until the. It, and they didn't bring them all in the eighth. They just were in a different time. Yeah. And honestly, the 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 guy who, who really has something to answer for is Jay Brito. His ERA is Brito. 27. I got to get to know these names. We have to talk about them. Johnny Brito. J-H-O-N-Y. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, one in? One in. It, isn't a... Is Johnny Peralta also J-H? I think you might be right. I feel like it is. I feel like I've seen that before. Uh, Johnny. Johnny. No home runs. Nope. No. No home runs in this game. It's the dead ball era. Really is. Bring back uh stolen bases and, and things. So when is uh when is opening day opening day? Like, um, for real's opening day. A Do week we- from tomorrow? Seriously? Yeah. So we're playing two games that count in Korea. Yeah. And then taking a week, eight days off, and then opening day. Yeah. That's just football takes a week off every week. And lamps and video games use real electricity. What? What is going on here? Good morning. How are good you? Good morning. Everything good? Yeah. Yeah. How was your evening? Uh, great. Yeah. Yeah. Great. 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 Are you gonna do the um? When's your next? Uh, or are you done with it? You mentioned it yesterday, and I forgot to ask you. When is your next uh, polar plunge? Oh, I don't know. I did that when we first got the pool. I haven't and then done that's that. It? Uh, um it was warm enough the last maybe it was 
Well, the last two days have been good. Like, I, I would do it. I would jump in. I wouldn't feel like it would be as much of a polar plunge. Because mm-hmm. the months I was doing it, it was, you know, 40-something degrees out. And so the pool's not heated. And, yeah, it was. Woo. Another thing I forgot to ask you is what so would would you just go out and do it or i imagine that would also be a really fun family event to see dad out there oh, it was a solo thing oh, oh it was yeah. oh yeah there was no family no i you, mean they just watching you go yeah. ah yeah yeah first time i did it was the the quick lesson like i, ju- I go well it's too cold i'm jumping in in my clothes oh that was dumb yeah don't because do that. the shirt and the shorts stayed just i mean i wasn't cling. naked i just put on a bathing suit after yeah. that and you're like all right just a bathing suit jump in whoa out and then you're like all right the, the shorts dry fast uh-huh. enough and then you, you know you have your towel on you go inside you're like oh man i feel great now yeah did you ever do it when it's like pouring down rain um no but the one time i do remember was it was october so that doesn't seem terrible but i had already done i think i had to get to december and i'd already done january february all the way through it, and it was halloween night my wife had said hey have you did you do the polar plunge this month oh. and i said oh wait Mm-mm. I don't think I did. And literally kids were, I mean, like it was nighttime and Halloween night. I'm like, well, I, I got to do it. Trick or treat. So I jumped in and then what I did, I mean, that was really cold that night. And what I did the next day was November 1st. I'm like, I'm getting November out of the way. And I jumped in on November 1st. I'm like, yeah, I'm ahead. Uh, You're done. Yeah. So you did two nights in a row. Yeah. That a boy. Yeah. Just get out of the way. Don't procrastinate. That's right. That's what I tell my daughter all the time. Stop procrastinating. Right. She hasn't figured it out. Right. I think I, well, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. I think one, I, was putting it off too i forgot no yes. no i gotta I gotta go I gotta keep committed to the bit you have to and you did and i you, did it something to be proud of yes and it felt good yeah yeah so why don't you still do it um it i felt, don't know it, felt it good. does yeah. i should i really thought about it and i haven't done it what day next week are we doing our workout and plunge oh in? is it that soon <clears throat> i have to get mentally ready oh uh, maybe we wait till it's warmer it's up to you do we have rain coming in again do we have rain? yeah yeah, yeah this weekend ah Oh, you can't be mad about that. It's getting warm. I was thinking you didn't like it. Yeah, it's going to be like our last rain. Hold on. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> you guys don't let me finish. Uh, yeah, we are getting wow. Let's check iPhone weather here. Uh, props Dirk for Dorn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Friday, 64 and, and, and a little rainy. And then uh, big time rainy Saturday, high of 57. So a little bit. Wow, we got a high of 59 on Tuesday with some rain. Partly cloudy Sunday and Monday. So we got ourselves a nice little four day. And isn't hey Dave, who's turning a hundred? Who's turning a one hundred? Oh, hey, the weather guy. I'm, I'm uh, Al Roker. Yeah. Or uh, who no. was the other guy? Will not Wilford Brimley. You'll get there. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, what? What? Uh, today W. He's no longer with us. Crap. Smucker's jars. It's a W. Yes. It's not like Wilford, but it's something like You're that. You're close. What, when, Wendell? No, no. I'm not going to get it. You You're know not? What? I'm stuck. If I give you the first name, I think you'll get it. Yeah, no, for sure. But, like, is um, there a hint? Yes. Because I, I know he has, like, a... The last name uh-huh. is the first name of a drop that's already been played on the show from someone. There's only been one drop that's been played I on know, the show. I know. I didn't... It's. I didn't... I don't even remember playing it. <laughs> And then I'm going to say the drop. The, the game of golf. The last name. Who is... says that? Oh, uh, 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 oh, God. Uh, Scott. Right. And start your beginning. What were you saying the name was? Uh, it was Wilford. Wilf, Very Wilf, close. Wilf, now, Wilf, put that together. Wilford this... Scott. Wilf... Now, doesn't that get you there? Uh, I can see his Damien. head. Woody? Damien. Lillard. Okay. Willard. Willard Scott. Yeah. Hey, we got there we together. There. That was great. That was, that was good work. Dad. And needed very little help. Right. Very. Almost none. <laughs> the game of golf. golf. Okay. Well, there's some weather there. That's good. Uh, you know. And tomorrow's the first day of spring. I thought yes. So why did I today? Say, yesterday. Well, why did I say somebody see yes say yesterday? They were like, hey. First day of spring. Oh, maybe it is. Let's see. Let's. Well, let's I thought see. it was like the twentieth or twenty first. I think you're actually right. And somebody yesterday was stupid. Uh, the first day of spring is Tuesday, March nineteenth. Huh. Oh. I always thought it was the twentieth too, yeah. especially or, with the leap year or twenty first. Yeah. Hey, or that... maybe it's because of the leap year. Maybe it's usually on the twentieth because of the leap year it's the nineteenth. When is the day where it's the, the summer solstice? That's my Probably last June twentieth, twenty first. Other than Christmas. Arguably my favorite day of the year. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Why? Ooh, Thursday, June 20th. Why? Yeah. Because you've reached the top of the mountain. Every day after that is shorter. And soon, Christmas. And yeah, we don't get any of those 108 degree days. You get a lot of them. Yeah. But it's worse when you're going up the roller coaster than when you're coming down. Every day, June 21st, it's going to suck, maybe. Eh, June will be fine. That, that, that's a popular mistake. Sacramento summer has nothing to do with June. It's July, August, September, and half of October. Mm -hmm. That's summer. That's yeah. what it is. You'll get a you'll get a hot day at the end of June, maybe mm -hmm. two, but starting in July, you got three and a half months of uh, <laughs> this sucks. Jason loves it. Mm, gross. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sweaty. Yeah. Lame. Let's every, get big sweaty <laughs> hugs. Every day you come in here and it's tolerable when you come in. And then when you go outside, it's like, oh, like a vampire I'm scene. Dying. Yeah, it's just, although, is this the first summer we've had the outside be blue instead of white? I wonder if that'll help. What? What? Is, hold on. Isn't the outside of the building painted blue now? <laughs> <laughs> Would you? I don't know what you meant. Chris and I were in the same spot. <laughs> no. Didn't they paint the outside? Yes. Yeah. And I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> In the past, in summer, we would go outside, and because the outside of the building was this white, I always felt like the glare from the sun when you first go outside is very glary. I'm wondering if the blue will help the glare, which I think, by the way, is a perfectly reasonable comment, <laughs> the two of you. They painted the outside blue. Uh, you know. Well, they, this is the first time the outside will be blue. That's <laughs> how you okay, I can see out of, yeah. Yeah, out of context. Um. I filled it. I'm very excited. I don't know why I already crossed it out. I left 743 open, and now I have filled it. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Uh, I found the ultimate cheat sheet to the NCAA tournament. Now, we're going to have some amazing guests Was on. it something that I shared with you? Uh, no, it was from a betting site. Or oh, okay. Yeah. No, it was no. Uh, Brian Katz is going to join us. Uh, at eight o'clock as a matter of fact it's not that's why i crossed it out we're not doing that at 7 43 we're doing that at 6 43 because i don't want to go back to back there see what i'm doing here on the air yeah. but it has you know here's the one chris are you the one that shared with me the reddit thing yes yeah okay i'll read that one right now that's fun uh i'll be careful as i do it uh but this is the type of thinking that we want going into the tournament this is this is actually a good tip <laughs> um in every tournament since 2021, you said this is Jason too, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. In every tournament since 2021, a top two seed has lost in the first round to a team with a, you know, a name that might make you snicker for one reason or the other. Um, <clears throat> in 2021, number 15 seed Oral Roberts defeated number two Ohio State. In 2022, St. Peter's defeated number two Kentucky. In 2023, Farley Dickinson defeated number one Purdue. That's three years in a row. This year, number one Houston faces number 16 Longwood. Will it happen again? Yeah, Robert Stack would be all over this. We will pull out the Ouija board and we will communicate with Bob Stack during the break. When we come back, it's leading off for a Wednesday. Kings tonight out of the country, much like the Dodgers and Padres. Mm -hmm. uh, baseball is uh, on right now. We'll update you on that. And uh, we had our first four yesterday. And, uh, oof. Yeah, woof, woof. Uh, bracket stuff today. Brian Katz, former coach at Sac State, is going to join us. Uh, Katie Christensen, live from Toronto. Uh, she will join us as well later in the program. And Jim Les. And J oh, and Jim Les. I mean, honestly, yeah. we're going to do a little post-mortem on the season. And uh, I think our final visit this yeah. season with Jim Les. Yeah. So a, a bittersweet, a very special episode. True. Of the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Christopher Lott behind the glass. We are right back. The Sacramento Kings play here. He's got the 
the triple. Sacramento takes the lead. Outstanding ball movement by Sacramento. Every triple, every jam, every Kings win. Sabonis with the jam over the Joker. He's got the three-point shot. Get your Kings fix all season long. Right here on your home of the Sacramento Kings. Here's a steal by Fox. The breakaway. He's got the rip with the left hand. Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area for oil changes visit jiffylube.com for more details and valuable coupons today let's do it leading off the three top stories in the morning huge news this is very important here's cut number one before we get to cut number one i just want to remind all of you that uh, later on in the program jason we're gonna have as i mentioned before the break jim less on uh, former Sac State coach uh, Brian Katz, mm-hmm. top brackets. Yep. We'll do the postmortem for UC Davis with Jim West. And then Katie from Toronto. I know I promoted that before. But in truth, what I wanted to make sure of is there wasn't any dead air because I forgot to bring up the uh, cuts we're about to play. So that was my way of covering mm. the silence as I brought them up. Gotcha. And had I not admitted that, do you think could have gotten away with it? Yeah, absolutely. Just would have seemed weird that I promoted <laughs> them, nah. you know. New audience. New audience. Great. From what, three minutes ago. That's what the numbers say. Yeah. Uh, here's cut number one for you. Fox gives the ball up to Sabonis. He goes back door. Oh, Malik Monk coming from nowhere along the left baseline above the rim. And what a pass and what placement from Sabonis, who now has his eighth triple-double of the year. Oh, my goodness. That was superbly done. How are you, Jason, with now I know road games are different in one aspect physically because you guys are here. Yeah. In the studio. Uh secondly, um well, wait a minute now. I, I I'm trying to figure this out. Is for road games, is Deuce still here all the time or does mm-hmm. he have to go to do TV stuff? It just depends on if he's TV Deuce or Radio Deuce. But what if he's TV Deuce? Then he's in San Francisco. Correct. But do they what about like do they do they ever do like uh the little cut-ins, and then he films it here? He's filmed that here, but that's if he's not, like, the Yeah, he's not, like, the like, analyst. Yeah, sometimes he does, like, uh, Do them right here? Yeah, he's done it here or, or their house. Or their, I've house. seen the ones from the... I can remember the ones from the, the from podcast, the podcast studio. set. Yeah, so but he's done have, it, like, in that room before. I'm like, oh, I ah, still want to do a walk-by. Like, completely. hey, do, oh, you know, just to get in there. Now, do, do they send over a camera or something? Or do no, they, have, they, they have their own setup? Yeah. For it? yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so anyway. They're tech-savvy. Oh, behind the scenes. So that's number one. Number two, I am curious how it, how, how it works for you in the sense with the morning show that today's game is at 4.30. It's a bonus. Like that, right? It's a DeMontis Sabonis today. You are arguably, you're probably getting home slightly after a home game would start, maybe? Yeah. 5.30. For today? Yeah, two and a half hours. Yeah, today we'll be on post game probably till uh, 7.15, 7.30? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So home and... Yeah, yeah, you're good shape. you're pretty much home in time for if it was if we were playing down in L.A. Yeah, seven thirty start. Yeah, so the Kings and so I Raptors, like that. I mean, I yeah, I like to see them in person, but when they play road games, I don't mind when they're in the East Coast. Yeah, and then you got you got it on the TV right the TV, here. And here's got the, the radio call and, yeah. here. Got G-Man. it all. Absolutely. Do you ever try to sync it up? It's oh, possible. you can't pause, huh? Radio's ahead. Oh, it is. So, uh, well, that because I lot. I've done that before. That, like yeah. sometimes I like oh. Whatever people are like, wow! Spoiler, or you see the. F-. I'm like, what? Oh, you're here. You're what? I didn't. Never mind. I'll stop tweeting about it. I am pretty much an evangelist for YouTube TV. There's, yeah. I, I love YouTube TV. Oh, you're way behind then. Oh my god! Yes. I, I, dude, I absolutely remember this. I think this was like last year. I, I, 
I had to go do something, pick up a kid or something during the game. And I'm listening to G-Man on my way home, right? I get out of the car, grab whatever I had in the car, go inside, open the door. Oh, hi, puppies. Walk into the living room. And the end of the play I just heard <laughs> in the radio yeah. was, was on TV. Yeah, national TV is even worse. Like, Real, it's yeah. national TV only. And then, you you know, we have the game. You're like, oh, my gosh, this is impossible to follow. Because, yeah, it's a good 50 seconds, which may not seem like a lot. It's a lot. It is a lot, especially when you're in your backyard watching football or something. Yeah. And there's, like, the neighbors watching the same game a couple doors down. And you hear them go, yeah. like a Monday night football game. And you're like, well, something happened here. Yeah. Anyways, other than that, though, YouTube TV is rad. Okay. Cut number uh, 430. Yeah. And uh, we'll have all your coverage right here on Sacktown Sports. Number two, please. Cut number two. Here it comes. Otani lines a base hit to right field. His first hit as a Dodger comes against you, Darvish, in Seoul, Korea. This ball hit almost as hard at 112 miles an hour, but with some top spin. If it even had no spin or backspin, it goes a long, long way. But this one, good for a single. Hmm. So, Dodgers Padres going on right now, wrapping up that game. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's over. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, what's, what, which, who else is playing today? That's it. That's it? Yeah. The one game? Yeah, they play there tw- today and tomorrow. Uh-huh. I mean, everybody's in spring training. So would it be fair to say the Dodgers-Padres is the sole game today? Wow! You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. It's kind Ooh. of... It, <laughs> it was a little confusing, though. Chris and I were watching it earlier, and it was painted blue outside <laughs> that's gonna be a thing i meant what i meant in my head was a hundred percent logical and in ours it was about four percent i was talking about like, the, what the sky uh all right so the dodgers are on pace to go 162 and oh this is not good for baseball not great for the padres either who have just been eliminated oh mad dog looks terrible uh what Let's he see. looks awful. Oh, Mad Dog does look right. like. Uh, oh, I, you know what? You know what? Ha- oh, dear Lord, you're right. Why? Here's What's what ha- he just looks very haggard. Does he? Also, the light yeah. blue, suit, the baby blue suit's not. Helping. Oh, it's painted blue inside. See? <laughs> Here's what happened. Mad Dog. Mad Dog had a few last night. He was up. He loves baseball. He probably got up early to watch. Oh that. yeah. What a weird thing. If we just kind of step back and think about this for a second. What a weird thing that Mad Dog Russo was half of Mike and the Mad Dog, which is, you know, anyone who's a radio nerd knows is the by far most influential sports radio show in history. Helped carve out the market, the whole thing. There's documentaries on it. Mike Francesa goes and does his own whatever. They, you know, they split up. Mad Dog does the baseball network forever. He's got his his show and the and on Sirius. And then somehow over the last like three years, old ass semi, and I'm saying this with respect, but just old ass semi irrelevant Chris Mad Dog Russo, who you think is just going to do is, yeah, I'm doing baseball, man. And then fade off into the sunset is now one of, one of the big national TV guys on, on the, on the big national talk shows. It's kind of a props to Chris Russo, man. Like, what a what a comeback for a guy who's got to be early, yeah. Or well, let's see here. I mean, it's mid sixties. I was gonna say mid sixties. Yeah, interesting. Don't call it a comeback. Hey, you know what? Salute to uh, yeah. old crinkly Mad Dog Russo. Cut number three, please. Cut number three. It's embarrassing for the ACC. Uh, you're talking about the ACC, a rich tradition of basketball. I mean, this is a Virginia team that got in the NCAA tournament over a Pitt team, an Indiana State team, uh, a St. John's team, and it just didn't seem like they were ready to play. And when you get an opportunity to play in the NCAA tournament, now this is a microcosm of what Virginia's been all season. You thought maybe you unplug, you plug back in, you get ready for the NCAA tournament. Uh, they had four games in a row that they didn't get 50. They had 14 in the first half. Mm-hmm. This is a horrendous reflection of where everyone talks about the ACC. We should get more bids. People don't perceive our league in a certain way like they perceive other high major conferences. Mm-hmm. This reflects on every single other team in the conference. Mm-hmm. You get- okay. 
it's, an, it's enough. It's a bad loss. But already people are like, yeah, that means North Carolina's out. Why? Or does it? I mean. Mountain West underseeded. Okay. Colorado State punked them. But. Remember when Virginia won the title? Yeah. Like 20 minutes ago? The year after. Kyle Guy. Yeah. The year after they were the first 16 seed ousted. Yeah. My Lord, just barf. What a. What a bunch of lame. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, that that game, I turned that game on briefly. Bar- yeah. That's uh, why in our bracket, you get that game for free. Yeah, seriously. Because so if you want to pick, if you wanted to pick Virginia, well, technically there's no way to divide that up. But now it's Colorado State on that line. So uh, Virginia finished third uh, in the ACC, in case you're wondering. They have wins over number 14 at Texas A&M. Uh, I'm trying to see anything else that matters. And yeah, they beat Florida State. Uh, they lost to North Carolina by 10. And uh, they lost to Duke by, well, 25. Okay. So, I mean, the fact that they finished third in the uh, ACC is a little whatever. They did beat Tarleton State by 30. Did they? Yeah, by 30. How about that? No results against Oral Roberts, though. Uh, everything starts tomorrow. Yes. For real. Yes. Not, you know. Yeah. Not that everything for reals is starts right. tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm during our show too. part of the very uh, last hour. I'm going to probably change my bracket 74 times, between. which is allowed uh, tonight. You have Graham. Well, this afternoon, Grambling and Montana state. That's a 16 on 16. Okay. Uh, and then Colorado Boise state. That's a 10 on 10. That uh, It's too bad. They're playing this game in Dayton. Cause I, is the Boise State basketball court blue? You know what? I don't know. Wouldn't that probably. be great? It probably yeah. is. Uh, Colorado Boise I'll State. I'll have to check it out when I go up there. Oh, yeah. Flexeroni. Yeah. Look at that. What is that? April. Oh, the big April trip. That's it, coming up. Yes. The Masters, Idaho. Yeah. Chris turned down Masters tickets. Can you what like what if Boise other? State makes a run and I'll be up there? That should be around the finals time. Uh, I would say you're going to have some fun out on out, out on campus. Hang out at Boise State, baby. That's not weird. We'll take a break when we come back. Uh, Kings Raptors tonight. The Raptors are missing a ton of players. Oh boy. <laughs> back to the betting tips here we or go the road, again. you said it's different yeah on the road it's different we'll take a look and let you know what's going to happen tonight as uh, we are clairvoyant we are the home of the king of town sports did you miss any part of our live local shows don't worry you never have to miss them again check out sackdownsports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want the carmichael dave show with jason ross styles and watkins and the drive guys Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SacktownSports.com. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Elk Grove Honda. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. Your Wednesday starts out nice and cool. Bit of a delta breeze out there to start the day. For the afternoon, expecting mostly sunny skies and highs today in the mid-70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. The 2024 Accord is once again a winner of the 2024 Car and Driver's 10 Best Cars, making Honda the winningest brand in Car and Driver Award history. Come drive it. We are Elk Grove Honda in the Elk Grove Auto Mall, Highway 99 at Elk Grove Boulevard. I gotta get an Elk Grove Honda Honda. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Kyle Draper. Equip your staff with top-notch uniforms professionally cleaned and delivered weekly to your workplace by Alsco Uniforms, proud sponsors of the Sacramento Kings Mop Crew. Our services include uniforms, towels, floor mats, mops, first aid supplies, and restroom essentials to uphold cleanliness and safety standards in your business. Discover why it pays to keep clean with Alsco Uniforms. Visit Alsco.com to learn more. Again, Visit ALSCO.com. Hi, everyone. It's Emron Pilati, the host of the True Sports Card Show here on Sacktown Sports 1140, Saturdays at 10 a.m. I'm excited about our second location at the Roseville Galleria as True Sports Cards continues our expansion. And to celebrate this day, we're excited to announce that Kevin Herter from the Sacramento Kings will be signing autographs on March 30th at 3 p.m. You can get your tickets for this event right now by going to TrueSportsCards.com, searching Kevin Herter in the search bar, and buying your ticket. Limited tickets are available, so please go to the website truesportscards.com and get your 
Kevin Herter tickets right now. Hey guys, do you know your T-level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T-level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. The Amish have a reputation for craftsmanship, determination, and quality. Hi, this is Frank LaRosa with a word about Naturewood Home Furnishings. You know, those virtues sound quite similar to the Keys family and the day-to-day values on display at Naturewood. The Amish furniture craftsmanship begins with the finest hardwood, shaping and molding the raw materials into one-of-a-kind art. In addition to the classic styles long sought and revered by discriminating furniture lovers, Naturewood Home Furnishings offers a vast selection that includes transitional, modern, farmhouse, arts and crafts, and other stunning styles all available in the ultimate Amish standard of excellence built over centuries. All Naturewood Amish furniture is on sale right now for a limited time. Let the Naturewood team guide you through their selection of Amish furniture that will be with you forever. Naturewood Home Furnishings, off Highway 50 at Hazel. Look for the water wheel. Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ha, found ya. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Woodland. Chad, what's going on for the Jeep celebration event? Save big on your next off-road adventure when you get 15000 off MSRP on remaining new 2023 Jeep Gladiator Sport, Rubicon, and Mojave. You pick. Uh, my wife has one of those Jeep Gladiator trucks. She loves it. Everyone I know that has a Gladiator loves them. And we have 16 to choose from. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't have a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, or fees. At Hoblet, you get the small town experience with the big city savings and selection. This savings can't last long. Don't miss your chance to save big with Hoblet. See their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 15000 in total net savings after national standalone 15% of MSRP factory rebate. Sample VIN 566-279. 2023 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon with 9494 factory rebates and 5506 dealer discount. 15000 total net savings. Five at each net savings. See dealer for details. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jake Owen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Major Wood Home Furnishings, and RVs of Sacramento. Capital Casino conveniently located on 411 at North 16th Street in downtown Sac. Michael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. I can't recommend it enough, whether or not you're uh, you're into that sort of thing. I know Chris is huge, hugely into the royal family over in England, but... I'm into this story. I, uh... So I just, I, I have, I am saving it. I, I watched the, I what's the word? The penultimate episode of The Crown last night. Uh, 
uh, and I'm watching the final episode. And so Princess Margaret has, I didn't realize this, Princess Margaret, the uh, Queen Elizabeth's sister, passed away in 2002. And then I think it's almost exactly two months later, Queen Elizabeth's mother uh, passed away. So she lost both of them within, I also didn't realize, I, I mean, again, it, we went through it, but Prince Philip, her husband, died and then she basically died like 13 months later right. which is one of the stranger phenomenons that we see like long time married couples that yeah. happens a lot it does i don't know prince philip looked like he died a decade before yeah that. prince philip definitely lived a lived a life that's for sure he was he was up there uh, the queen mother was i think 101 when she passed away so i want to say she passed away like right when i visited there really i want to say it was like a month or two after and they're still talking about it. Well, they showed le yesterday was, and you know, again, some of this is, is, uh, and we know you listen, we know you love your Royal updates. Uh, they actually showed, you know, and there's dramatic license taken, but Prince William was, uh, in, 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 uh, uh, university in, in St. Andrews and was kissing Kate Middleton, who was also a student there, his now wife, which we'll get to in a second. And then maybe, the things. yeah. And uh, and as they were sharing a first kiss, his like secret service guy came up. I was like, I'm so sorry, sir, for the interruption. And William's like, Can't I have a normal life? Like, that legitimately, that happened. Oi, come now. <laughs> And he goes, your Gmo's dead. <laughs> I don't know why he's just going now. <laughs> no, they use code names. So the guy's like, uh, I'm so sorry, Your Highness. Uh, Operation Tay Bridge. And I actually, I had to go back. So I'm like, what the hell? Operation Tay? What? So I had to go back and put on subtitles, which apparently 67% of, uh, what's the what's the uh, group after millennials? Gen, uh, Gen Z. Gen Z. 67% of Gen Zers say that they watch TV with subtitles. Like they turn them off. You'll say, "Yeah, I watch TV with subtitles. Re I, do, like, I do quite a bit." Really? Yeah. What is for this? moments like that? I went back and made this up so I could see what they said, so I could look it up, and and we'll get back to that. But apparently, they all have like Queen Elizabeth was Operation London Bridge, uh, and and then when she passed away, they said London Bridge is down, and then there was this whole thing that had been planned, like uh, the BBC and all the networks logos go black, uh, then. Uh, the Queen's private secretary informs the prime minister. Anyway, there's a whole thing, which I'm sure we have similar stuff here for like when presidents yeah. die or whatever, but it's really crazy over there. Back to the subtitles, though. So I had them on, then I had to turn them off 30 seconds later. You know, once I saw the thing, I actually left them on and I was like, oh, yeah, I, like the, the meme of the dude like who's taking his headphones off because he can't stand what he's listening to. That was me with my eyes. I don't, under my daughter does this. And I'm like, I can't not just read the subtitles. I find myself when I'm watching stuff with subtitles, I'm reading the subtitles and then I'm not looking at the thing. And I feel like it takes me out of the movie or whatever I'm watching, like a TV series or something, whatever. But part of it's escapism and I'm reading stupid subtitles the whole time. I'm a pretty quick reader, but I'm not looking at like the facial expressions right. and the acting and all that. So I don't. You get used to it, to you, doing both. It, do you, yeah. Like, what about when there's a movie with a bunch of foreign languages? In it? I don't watch those. No. <laughs> I don't. I can't even remember the last four. I honest to God. Like Inglorious Bastards? Did you ever uh, see that? Okay, yeah. Like, yeah. a lot of that is subtitled. <sighs> yeah, it is. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. But it, but then, I don't know how much I'm missing of uh, Landa doing the Oscar-winning acting stuff, you know? It, I don't know. It's just, but every. A lot of people do this like for every do you so you watch subtitles for everything no not for everything and part of it for me I, it's it's been an adjustment but my brother-in-law is deaf and so like a lot of times that's how my wife's family had watched TV. they always have them on and so then which i like, get that obviously where it's tricky is sometimes to have it on in sports because sometimes literally the placement of it is in the middle of something it can be a distraction yeah. but it, it just depends yeah, uh, i don't watch anything alive with closed captions so like news, sports. Yeah, a lot yeah. of times that's that gets pretty far behind. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. That's got to be a whole different thing. I've always yeah. wondered how they're they're sitting there. Yeah. And if it wasn't for that, we would not have Sauce Castillo. Right. Oh, and you'll get those. Like, like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. I don't know what they said, and I don't know what they just transcribed either. I, I don't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, <laughs> sorry, guys, about the spoiler alert for the Crown. My bad. 
Oh, when do they get into King Ralph? King Ralph? Is it oh, new? like the movie? Uh, is the crown new? No, I mean, is it is it done? It's done. Yeah, so yeah. I didn't know if like you really. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, so they've got to bring another season on after so, everything going on. So here's what's happening with that. Then so it's it, crowned. It is done. It finishes with um. Well, the her the, the Queen Elizabeth's what 80th birthday was uh, the Golden Jubilee. So that was this last episode, and then uh, yeah, they don't even get up to where like Prince Philip died. Like they pretty much cut. That's where it ended. So they don't get into like the super modern. They're not getting it. We're not. They're not getting into Kate Middleton and whatever the hell's going on right now. But uh, they are in talks about doing a prequel starting in 1900, reigning the four kings from whoever the hell it was in 1900 to uh, George, who was Elizabeth's dad. Exciting. But in closing, I will just say this. However you feel about the royal family, and by the way, I completely understand whichever way you feel about the royal family, because there are wonderful arguments on both sides. Elizabeth was just a princess whose uncle was the king and she was in no way, shape or form supposed to have anything to do with any of that. Her uncle then falls in love with an American lady who had been divorced. And since the king is the head of the church of England, he can't marry a divorced person unless her former husband is dead, which he was not. So this dude abdicates the throne, right? Forcing his brother who had none of the training to instantly become the king, which then made, because he had no sons, Queen Elizabeth, the heir apparent, and his brother had a terrible stutter, which you you saw in the King's Speech, the Oscar-winning movie, where they went over that in the middle of World War II and had to, like, address the nation and stuff. And then he dies of lung cancer, basically. Elizabeth takes over in her, her 20s, finds out when she's on safari in Africa with her new, uh, her new husband that uh, her dad passed away, and then, boom, she becomes the queen and then you roll through like everything about it how her sister margaret wanted to marry uh this group captain peter uh what's his face but couldn't because he had been married and so she kind of became a kind of borderline alcoholic partier her whole life who was a little off in the head and then the you know what happened with diana and now that's why the whole kate middleton stuff it's like she's now the prince people really don't always put this together diana's a princess of wales Kate Middleton's the Princess of Wales. Like that it's 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 a it's a weird thing when you think about royalty and monarchy in yeah. today's modern society. And I know I'm totally nerding out here when we were supposed to talk about the kings, and this is what the consultants You did talk about the kings. We are talking about the kings. Oh, that's a great point. And now we have King Charles, who, by the way, over the weekend, the hottest Twitter rumor out there, which of course we believe is not true, is that he had died on St. Patrick's Day. He's he's battling cancer as far as we know and and apparently they kate middleton has disappeared and then they kensington palace where they live they posted a family photo but then the ap and a bunch of places shut it down and said don't use this because it's been digitally altered it's not like a rumor that's not a conspiracy they literally were like no this has been altered we're not going to print it and then she made a statement a written statement she made a statement where she's like sorry i get into editing a little bit sorry i apologize and then I guess yesterday there was a video of her shopping. That was the thing. The Photoshop is interesting because she studied photography in college and probably wouldn't be making those mistakes. Or, but wouldn't that also lend to the, I mean, depending on how you look at it, wouldn't that also lend to the fact that she would get her hands into the editing though, if she studied that and maybe it just became apparent that she edited badly. I don't know. It's really weird. She had abdominal surgery like two months ago. They announced it and said she's going to be missing her events for till at least April. And now there's all and I don't I'm not a conspiracy theory guy whatsoever. I usually laugh at them. But this whole Kate Middleton thing is, I admit, is really weird because all they have to do is roll a camera in there. And have her make a 20-second, like, hey, I'm good, just recovering. If they're telling the truth the entire time, something is very off. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. If if there's nothing really wrong, this is the worst PR yeah. manufactured thing in the history of whatever. So anyways, The Crown on Netflix. Highly recommend it. It's very, very, very well done. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, I've got your NCAAs. We'll get to the Kings and Raptors, obviously. NCAA. This article changed my bracket life. I, I'm not trying to overstate it, but I promise you, if you listen and take notes, mental or physical, 
I promise you what I'm going to tell you in this next segment off this article, you're making at least one change in your bracket. I can promise you that. We'll do all that next. Our first year as the radio home of the San Francisco 49ers is one we will never forget. And Logan Ryan picks him up. Looks like they're playing man. The Ford is over there as well. It's five out. It's empty on fourth down. Golf back, back. Not going to get out to his right. Being chased. Rose and it is incomplete. The 49ers take over on fourth down again. Congratulations to the 49ers on a terrific year. And thank you for so many wonderful memories. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Gro Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and 8-inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, El Grove Kia and the El Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. El Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house online and owning it. Between imagining living there and breathing in your new home for the first time. Having an advocate who can help you navigate the complex world of financing, inspections, negotiating, analyzing the market, and talking through any anxieties that may pop up, that can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors and bound by a code of ethics. Because that's who we are. Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event is happening now. Unleash your love for beauty with 50% off daily beauty steals on hair, skin, makeup, and fragrance. Shop your favorite brands like Tarte and Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Plus, grab perfect hair care pairs from brands like Redken and Olaplex. And check out new arrivals from brands like Charlotte Tilbury and Dyson. Shop the Ulta Beauty semi-annual beauty event online, in-store, or try pickup today. Now through March 28th. Ulta Beauty. The possibilities are beautiful. Conditions apply. Dr. Ken Howachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art Support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art Support could be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owe the IRS around $57,000 and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments. And after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174.
waking you up with the best in local sports. They just make it interesting, you know? It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. On Sacktown Sports. Well, maybe we'll have to, uh... Maybe we'll have to make this a regular thing. Because uh, the reaction on the YouTube chat, tons of Royal talk fans. Kansas Lo- City? Love, love it's that. It's George Brett. Uh, just saw this on Twitter real quick. Let me answer this. No, everyone... The video out there of what looks to be like a junior high game where a kid punches another kid is not Draymond Green's son punching DeMontis Sabonis' son. I can't believe like people were like falling for that. The amount of people that have asked me on, on, I just had another guy ask me, hey, is this real? Look at the, look at the account tweeting it and read it really carefully. It's a parody account. Well, wait a minute. DeMontis' son son is is like like two. Or if, if that, yeah, if, yeah, so yeah. it's not real. No, <laughs> those kids look like they were about twelve. <laughs> no, it is a hundred percent not real, but it, uh, apparently it got a lot of people. All right, let's get right to it. Get your uh, thinking caps on because I want. I'll, I'll thank the uh, Action Network for this. This is actually a pretty good. They laid out, which we will not be reading all of them. Sixty-eight things you need to know. Oh wow. Well, I've highlighted ones that I think are quite interesting. A first four. Now, those are the two games last night, two games tonight. A first four team winner has won at least one additional game in the round of 64 in every NCAA tournament since 2019. Okay. That's pretty burly, right? And you can probably, for the most part, say it's not a 16. Yes, because right. you, you, it's more it's likely the 10s or 11s. Yeah. yeah, the 10s this year are playing. In five of the 12 tournaments featuring a play-in, which is almost half, a first four winner made at least the Sweet 16. Two, VCU in 2011 and UCLA in 2021, made the Final Four. And last March, two first four winners went on to win again, including 16 seed Farley Dickinson over Purdue. Both Boise State and Colorado State will represent the Mountain West in the first four. The Mountain West is 0-4 in the play-in. Not anymore. Colorado State won. So the idea there is pay attention for the first few days and consider picking a first four winner to win at least one more game or two. UConn is the number one overall seed. Jason, only one of the last nine overall number one seeds even made the final four. Wow. It's been 11 years since an overall number one won the national championship. Since 04, number one overall seeds have made 15 of 18 sweet 16s, 11 of 18 elite eights, and just eight of 18 final fours. Just three championship games. The Huskies are also the defending national champions. The last national champion to go back to back, you remember? Duke? Nope, but a uh, guy on that team, I believe, still plays center for uh, the best team in the East. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Florida, Florida 07. Beat UCLA. Since times. then, oh, I forgot about that. I wasn't yeah. trying to do that. Uh, since then, the last national champion to go back to back, 07, Florida. Since then, none of them have even advanced past the Sweet 16. In the last 25 years, UConn has made the NCAA tournament 16 times, won the whole thing five times. It's 31%. As a top two seed, UConn is 42-9 and nine in the modern tournament, averaging almost four wins per berth with two titles. In other words, UConn is a top two seed, almost averages a final four appearance with only three losses ever to a, a team seeded worse than third. But those last two stats kind of counteract, you know, mm-hmm. that makes it tricky. That's why it's... That's why it's madness, Jason. Good point. San Diego State's the top seed from the Mountain West. The Aztecs were the first Mountain West team ever to advance past the Sweet 16 last March. Top six Mountain West teams this century are 10 and 13. And the conference has a losing tournament record uh, as a favorite in their seeding overall, uh, 18 and 19, but was 4 and 0 last March. Auburn is 11 and 0 in the first round in the modern tournament, but just 8 and 11 after that. They have made six Sweet 16s and three Elite Eights, which isn't bad for a school that's been better than a number seven seed only four times. Uh, Nobody cares about Brigham Young. That's not really a thing. Uh, As a top three seed all time, Illinois is 16 and seven, 
falling well short of seed expectations, including uh, when they got upset to Loyola back in 2021. Drake, though, might be the most dangerous double-digit seed in the bracket. They have never won a tourney game, but they led eventual Final Four team Miami in the final minutes last March. Um, Iowa State, 20 and 21 in the modern tournament. One Elite Eight, zero Final Fours. They're number two seed this year. Iowa State received just two votes in the preseason coaches poll and none in the AP poll. Not one of the 36 top two seeds that started the season unranked in the AP poll, but finished in the top 10 at the end of the year, went on to make the final four. In fact, 15 of the 23 two seeds that did that went on to lose opening weekend. There's a ton of other stuff here. God, that went by too fast. Let me skip to the bottom here because I think this is interesting. There's a way of, uh, there's a metric how to decide that's popular in college basketball, how to decide how good or bad a team is called Ken Palm. I won't get into what Ken Palm is, but look it up. Since 2002, 20 of 21 champions started the tournament ranked in the top 21 in adjusted offense, all but UConn in 2014. 20 of 21 champs ranked in the top 37 in adjusted defense. In other words, 19 of the last 21 champs started both top 21 in offense and top 37 in defense. This year, that leaves eight teams. UConn, Houston, Purdue, Arizona, Marquette, Creighton, Duke, and Auburn. North Carolina and Tennessee just missed the cutoff. Now, if you go with all the pre-tourney criteria, including only two champs over the last two decades, not wearing blue in their uniforms, 2021 Baylor and 2013 Louisville, there are just four teams that fit all of these requirements. The Ken Palm pre-tourney criteria, won at least one conference tournament game and wear blue on their uniforms. UConn, Arizona, Marquette, and Auburn. I strongly suggest you look up this article because there are about 57 other very cool, sometimes weird things. But I read that. I'm like, I'm my bracket's done. I have to go back and change everything. We'll take a break. When we come back, hey, you want to talk to Jim Les? I do. I do and I don't. I yeah. do always, but tough He'll loss. Be He'll be wonderful. We'll talk to UC Davis men's basketball coach Jim Les next. On the move? Got somewhere to be? Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacktown Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. Do you have an invention idea but don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp now for free information on how to get started today. InventHelp provides invention services that help everyday inventors get started with their idea. We have representatives nationwide who will explain the InventHelp process step by step. Over 10,000 patents have been secured through InventHelp's patent referral services. Our services include professional materials needed to showcase your invention and 3D animation and prototype modeling that help you demonstrate your idea. Get down to the details of your idea with a technical drawing. The InventHelp data bank includes thousands of companies who have agreed to review new ideas. We've been helping inventors since 1984. Let's help you next. Take advantage of the opportunity to get started today. Call 1-800-217-4380. That's 1-800-217-4380. Again, 1-800-217-4380. Sacramento Weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. Your Wednesday starts out nice and cool. Bit of a delta breeze out there to start the day. For the afternoon, expecting mostly sunny skies and highs today in the mid-70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. The recent storm has caused dangerous driving conditions for us. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down. Be alert and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. Starting March 18th, for three days only, shop limited-time doorbusters during Lowe's MVP's bonus days. Buy one Metabo HPT 15-degree roofing nailer. Get one box of Metabo HPT one and a quarter inch collated roofing nails free of $49.98 value. Plus, save $39 on a little giant A4 6-foot 300-pound stepladder. Shop these deals and more while supplies last. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 320. Selection varies by location. 
Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a new Samsung Galaxy A15 for just $99. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Good talk. Switch to Straight Talk for plans starting as low as $25 a line per month for four lines. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. In-store activation on single silver unlimited plan or higher required. Family plan discount with four lines all on the silver unlimited plan. Taxes and fees apply. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave asking you, are you feeling the pain of paying more and more for your gas? PG&E has increased their rates four times in the last five years, and the new forecast says PG&E customers may see their bills increase 32% by 2026. The good thing is there are steps you can take to protect yourself from these rate hikes, and better yet, American Energy may be able to help you completely eliminate your gas bill with a new ultra-high efficiency comfort system. Did you know SMUD offers huge rebates to eliminate your old gas guzzler? They can can help you guide through the whole process. Seriously, listen to me. You go to the SMUD website. There's tons of rebates available, but it is confusing on how to do it. Listen to these rebates. 2500 bucks from American Energy, 3500 from SMUD, 1000 from Caltech, 2000 home system upgrades. That's $9,000 in rebates. Let American Energy help you out at 916-520-9990. Call 916-520-9990. Call 916-520-9990. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda Yeah Your one-stop Honda shop Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ha! Found ya. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan, auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford right here in Sacramento. You can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned, our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. Elevate your golf game at Timber Creek Golf Course in Roseville. Just named to the prestigious Golfer's Choice 2024 Top 25 Public Golf Courses in all of California by Golf Pass. Timber Creek offers an unparalleled experience. Our revamped practice facility features a grass driving range, expanded putting greens, and a chipping area complete with sand traps. Whether you're a pro or just starting your golf journey, Timber Creek is the place to be. Visit us and discover why we're the top of Sacramento and beyond. Unwind and tee off at Timber Creek Golf Course. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, your flagship station for the Beam Team. Can we light the beam? Light the beam, baby. <laughs>
The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. All right, welcome back. As we are, uh, we just did some bracket talk. Yep. As the uh, the first fours are halfway done, we'll get more uh, today, starting around three o'clock, and then uh, all the madness begins on Thursday. Now, on I, I told you over the weekend, you know, uh, the, the Kings game started at seven, mm-hmm. but right before that, what a lead in we had UC Davis. Right. They were on the SEC yeah. too. Had that on. Had that on the TV. And uh, other than the fact that they were playing a team with a guy named Sahonis, which was screwing with me the whole time because <laughs> I'm in Kings mode, uh, it was up and down, back and forth. Yeah. UC Davis had the lead at the half, uh, just came up short at the end. And and true to form, class act, of course he's going to come on. Uh, we've talked to him all year long, the wonderful coach of the UC Davis Aggies, who I'm sure are hurting, but also I hope are incredibly proud of a wonderful season, as heard right here on Sacktown Sports. Coach Les joins us right now. Who and and I know you don't care about this, but this is I'm sitting there watching the game with my wife, Coach, and it, I don't know why. I've been in this business forever. We've known you forever, but every time they showed you on TV, I'm like, ah, I'm shitless. And then my wife's like, We get it. He's you know been on TV before, but just we're all so excited for you. I know you fell short, Coach, but. I, again, I, I would imagine you're very, very proud of your team. Good morning. Well, have you guys ever walked around with the feeling of a hangover, but you haven't had a drink? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that's been me the last few days, unfortunately. And and, and I think you're right. I, I, I think when the, the, the dust settles and, and, and I get over it, you know, I'll, I'll look back at a, an incredibly connected group that, had a really good season and did some awesome things. But when you, you get that close to the finish line and, and just come up a little bit short, uh, you know, there, there's a, there's a lot of what ifs and yeah. uh, it's uh, it, it's hard to accept. Coach, I got to imagine the chat. One of the challenges, many challenges of coaching is your own goals and your own, your own emotions too. Like you obviously wanted to win. So when the game doesn't go your way, when it ends, and you've got a group that's been together, like you said, and connected. Um, they're probably looking for you to say something, but you're also hurting. Like that That probably had to be a challenge of what you first talked to the team about when the game ended. Well, well, the emotion in the locker room was real. I mean, you, you're, you're talking about, um, and in particular, our seniors, um, extremely uh, emotional and um you know, it, it's it's a wave of, uh, you know, that that's your last college game. It's a wave of, you know, you, you had this opportunity and dream to play in an NCAA tournament. And it was just snatched from you. So it uh, the, the, the words were along the lines of, um, you know, uh, uh, appreciation for what this group did. Uh, they, they allowed us to coach them. They allowed us to push them. They were unbelievable ambassadors for our university. Um, and, um, you know, it, it, as much as we'd like to try and figure out why, you know, so, sometimes things happen for a reason. And sometimes you go through some adversity or sometimes you have some shortcomings because it teaches you some life lessons going forward. And, uh, and, and I didn't talk very long because I know, and, and generally my philosophy after games, and we've talked about this before, is, you know, the, the, the minds of the players are in 20 different places. So they're not really hearing anything, which is why this week we're kind of meeting individually and just uh, giving our staff a chance to show appreciation for these uh, guys, for what they did for our program uh, and, and kind of, you know, clear heads prevail, but uh, yeah, it, it was a very emotional uh, locker room and, and one of the most emotional in 22 years I've ever been a part of. Coach Jim West, UC Davis joining us. I, I think this is a fascinating part of the game and, and of your job, Coach, and I got to imagine 
maybe one of the most difficult. Look, in the NBA, in any major league sport, you know, players come and go, free agents, this, that, whatever. But I, I got to think, Coach, it's got to be incredibly tough for a guy you've coached three years, four years, seen grow, had talks on the bus, had talks on the plane, uh, know their family, recruited them, whatever it may be, and then you're going to have these conversations with them, whether it's after a win or a loss, you're going to have these conversations with them knowing you're, you're, you're sending them out into the world and, and you can't sign them to a five-year max extension. Th this is it, and you'll, they'll come back and visit, hopefully, call you coach down the road, hey, I'm getting married, hey, I just have kids. I'm sure you've experienced that too, but I, I, I got to think that's got to tug on the heartstrings something fierce. Yeah, it, it really is because every day, you know, and it starts in the recruiting process. And, and by the way, that merry-go-round uh, never stops. So we're as much as you want to, you know, I, I, we want to pout and feel sorry for ourselves. We got to pull up, lace them up and get right back on the recruiting wagon because the portal has opened and all that badness has started. So uh, and, and then you think about replacing these guys. But for the last and it, and it starts sometimes when they're juniors in high school, it's five or six years of a relationship that's built to the point where, you know, a, a college coach is interacting with these young people every day. And all of a sudden, you know, they're not there anymore. And that's, that's a really tough reality. But as you said, Dave, the, the, the most satisfying is over the years, past players being able to shoot you a text and, you know, coach, I remember when you said this, or, uh, you know, well, I'm getting married or I have, I'm having a kid or, you know what, I need some money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you know, you, you, you run the gamut of all those things. And, and, uh, you know, I, I tell them that when they come to UC Davis, it's not a four or five year decision. It's a lifetime decision in terms of the relationships they're going to build, not only with, uh, the coaching staff, but with the other players. And, uh, you know, some of my best memories are my uh, time with my college teammates, and that's what we want to emulate here for our guys. Coach, based on the wound, based on the recency, based on what you also just said, you got to get out and recruit and portal and all that stuff that's going on. Uh, will you uh, will you watch the tournament? Is it too fresh of a wound? Like, how, how will uh, the next couple of weeks go for you in regards to the tournament? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely watch just being, you know, uh, with, with pad and paper because, you know, there, there, there's just some outstanding coaches across the country. And, uh, as much as I want to be innovative, I'm probably better at stealing. So I just, <laughs> yeah, I watch the games with the thought of, uh, you know, Hey, how are they defending that pick and roll? And, you know, what, what kind of sets are they running to get their, their shooters open? Th those are all things that, that matter. I don't really have a, a dog in the fight. I have some friends that are coaching, but other than that, it's really mainly watching it to try and grow as a coach. Yeah. How many years has it been, you know, for fun, of course, but how many years has it been since you uh, filled out a bracket? Well, you know, we're not allowed to, so we, we usually do a, uh, you know, one just for fun yeah. within our offense was with, within the coaching staff. And, uh, so we'll try and get that done today. Just, just, just for some bragging rights, yeah. you know, just for and, fun. I, I would just tell you it's a good thing I'm not a gambler because <laughs> <laughs> yeah I am a horrible picker and you know people bump into me like, hey what do you think about this game and then two weeks later they go are you sure you're a coach <laughs> so uh, yeah so what are, what are the prospects looking like for next year I mean that's the reality you know what you said it coach you like you already have to you know you don't want to move on this quickly, but you kind of have to, you have to get ready for the next season and, and recruiting and all that. How's that going in the in the uh, stages of, of trying to get the Aggies even farther along next year? Well, it, it, it does help. I, I, I think, um, you know, ha having some success this year and uh, having some notoriety and being able to play some games on TV, you know, all that's positive because you, you you know you have all these kids and i think the first day the portal opened was monday and there were already 400 and some kids in the portal um and that number is only going to grow so uh you know we we have the unenviable task of replacing you know for example a guy like elijah pepper who scored over 2,000 points he's the, the all-time the second all-time leading scorer in the big west uh history and, and was 15th or 16th in the country in scoring this year. So those, th that kind of production 
is is hard to replace, but it's also you know it speaks to a little bit of our system when uh, people you you recruit and you talk about hey yeah I know I've I've seen you on TV I've watched Elijah well that's the kind of production we're trying to uh, replace so it is intriguing now uh, the NIL thing gets involved and it's it's uh, it, it's madness a little bit I don't like where college basketball is at I think our leadership from the NCAA has failed us in, in guiding us through this wave of changes, but it is what it is. And, uh, you know, our goal is to get back to that championship game and finish it off with a win. And uh, that's the motivating factor going forward is, uh, but we got to replace some really good players. And uh, so far the early conversations have been good. And, you know, we have a beautiful campus and school to sell and, uh, we'll try and replace those guys as best we can and try and make another run next year. Coach, I'm going to end our conversations with a little curveball, but one I, I know you can, I'm sure you can hit. I, I just honestly want some advice. Um, dad to dad, my son, I've told you before, you know, in passing, my son's a freshman. He, We are the uh, antithesis of the parents that uh, believe their kid's going to play in the NBA. My, my son just loves basketball and <clears throat> he works hard. Uh, he just loves the game. He's always shooting and, you know, at best, maybe he'll, uh, he'll, he'll get to play at some, in some program past, past high school. And I'm, I'm talking blue sky. Now he's been, uh, doing these workouts with his coach, um, that they do every day, his, his, his freshman coach. And we love the guy. And, but he suggested to my wife the other day, and she brought it to me that they're going to be doing an AAU team this summer. And would would my son be interested in doing it? It's a traveling club, this and that. Now, let's see, it's 7.15. They're not listening. So just honestly, he's he's a starter. He He's not, look, I, I just can't stress enough. He works hard, but we're not talking, you know, oh, my God, this kid's great. I can't stress enough that he's just a good kid that likes to play, but he's not going to make any highlight reels. I am deathly afraid of AAU from what I've heard, from the stories I've heard. Like, that just seems like, too hardcore of a scene and I don't want to put any pressure on our kid. I just want him to have fun, but also I've never done it. I've never been a part of it. So maybe I'm just being a little overprotective. I just wanted to know you who's lived a life of basketball and I'm sure is familiar with just about everything. If you had any suggestions for me, just as a dad trying to do the right thing. Well, and, and, and I do agree with your initial premise, you know, sometimes the AAU thing and that's, you know, traveling around the country and just playing games overwhelms these young kids and they get away from being in the gym and, and the skill work you're talking about. Yeah. And to me, that's crucial. That, that has to be a priority, especially at a young age. Um, now it, it becomes a family decision. I do think some exposure to playing against really good players out of your area, different parts of the country. It does give you some perspective of, Hey, this is how hard I got to work. Or there, there, there's a lot of good players at my age or, you know, and, and they're athletic and they have size. So it does give you a perspective. So a sampling of that, especially as early as a freshman and sophomore, I think is good because it can be a motivator of how hard you have to work. But really until they're juniors and seniors in, in high school, it's less important because for us, it, it is an avenue to be able to watch and scout and recruit. And so much of it now is more of the club teams than AAU. Unfortunately, I'm not saying that's a good thing. Sure. I'm just saying that's a reality. Um, so to get that exposure and, and, and I'm not just talking about D1, I'm talking about D2, D3, NAI, everybody's going to these tournaments and watching. So it does put your son in a position to be, evaluate and give him opportunities to be recruited. So you have to do that because less of it's around the high school. But I think in the early years, the freshman, sophomore, the priority has to be just the old fashioned, get in the gym, roll up your sleeves and work on your skill set, work on your ball handling and passing and shooting and get that to a high level of skill. And that'll translate to those games where he's going to be noticed. I appreciate that. That's great. That's yeah. why I love this job. Uh, Coach, gone are the days where I could just go with uh, Coach Joe Belcastro from Mariloma up to the Siskiyous up in Weed, California, yeah, yeah. and do the week-long basketball camp for 300 bucks. <laughs> uh, where are yeah. those well, days I, going? I, I, used to, I used to go to the Ray Meyer basketball camp, oh, wow. and it was up in northern Wisconsin. It was a 
seven hour bus ride on a rickety school bus. <laughs> and we were up there, we were up there for two weeks and the food was so bad. We used to, used to, uh, beg for your parents to send you a box of just anything that was edible. Uh, <laughs> but, it, but those are some of the best times of my life. And, okay. and, uh, I, I remember them, uh, well, so you, you got to throw some of those in there. Throw some yes. camps in. Yes. hundred percent coach. What could we say? We beyond we appreciate you coming on, which we would we would say to anyone who comes on, but really just quality stuff from you this year. And and I know it's early and you got a life, uh, not just on basketball, but everything. Uh, thank you for giving us the time, and I, I hope we can do the same thing next year, Coach. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. All thank right, you. Take care. That's Coach Jim Les. Love it. We'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, I had to. <laughs> I had, I've been thinking about that all. I had to throw that in there. Who better to get advice from than Jim Les? We'll take a break. Three for Madness brought to you by Fire Wings coming up next. Uh, you know, and as we go to break, one of the issues is um, my son loves to shoot from outside, but it's him driving to the basket that he's a little hesitant you know because he's growing and i suggested him the other day i'm not a basketball coach or anything but if you want to improve your drives what better place to do that in than woodland than hoblin dodge which right now it's ram truck month son i can actually say that it's ram truck month son hoblin dodge chrysler jeep ram and woodland save up to sixteen thousand five hundred bucks off msrp on the new 2024 ram 2500 laramies one of the nicest and most capable trucks you can buy and the biggest savings of the year. It's huge. They have over 200 available. Yeah, I said 200. That's a lot. So why choose Hoblin? Well, I'll give you a reason. They do things a little different at Hoblin. They're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why there's not a bunch of dealer markups, surprise add-ons, hidden fees. And they're now California's number one new Ram truck dealer. Basically, you get the small town experience at Hoblet with the big city savings and selection. So if you're looking for a truck, Hoblet should be your first and only stop. See their full selection at HobletDodge.com. Unbeatable price. Unbeatable selection. Nobody, and I mean nobody, beats Hoblet. Period. We'll take a break. What will the Kings record be on this road trip? Rick Carlisle said something you might want to hear locally. And how will the road trip end? Three for Madness next. The only place you'll find Malik Monk is Sacktown Sports. Oh my, what an athletic move that time by Malik Monk. Hey Sacramento, it's Malik Monk and you're listening to the home of the Sacramento Kings, Sacktown Sports. Your local sports leader. Three questions, three answers. It's three for madness on the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Here's question one. All right, Three for Madness brought to you by Fire Wings. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Rolot. What will be the King's record on this road trip? I think they go 2-1. and one. We talked about this yesterday. I, I think they go 2-1. and one. I, I know that's the easy answer. Um, but, I, I, you know, you got Toronto, the Wizards, and Orlando. They probably should go on paper 3-0. and oh. I know they'll be favored in these first two games. Uh, I I imagine it'll be close. Yeah, Orlando has a slightly better record and a really good record at home. Yeah, I I, I imagine you're looking at Orlando two and a half something whatever. Uh, I, I I think two and one is easy enough. So, uh, but we'll see. Uh, you never know with this stinking team. Yeah, I'm gonna go two and one as well. And I I don't even know what the order will be based on the way the year has gone. But I think it has to be two and one. Um, this is well, it's certainly much easier on paper than the next road trip. That's brutal. That's the only easy game, quote unquote, would be Brooklyn, but they got they have to go to New York. They have to go to Boston and OKC. So uh you got to do well on this one. And two and one needs to be the record or better, but I'll, I'll go with two and one. Okay. Question number two. Question two. Rick Carlisle said the following about his pacers. Yeah, it was a quote, and I can't I've been looking for the audio. I can't find it. I don't know if there is audio, but Rick Carlisle said, you know. We, we've got to learn these lessons. I'm, it's becoming an old narrative. I'm paraphrasing. It's becoming an old narrative, a tired narrative amongst our players and our coaching staff that we're, these are good lessons. We're learning lessons. We're learning on defense. We have to actually get out there and execute if we're going to take the next step as a team. And I read it, and I can't stress enough, I'm not taking any form of a shot at the defending 
stinking coach of the year in Mike Brown. Like, I love Mike Brown, and he knows what he's doing. But I swear to God, I read that quote, and I went, I just would love to hear that out of Mike at a press conference because we've heard him talk about lessons throughout the years. Different teams, different personalities, certainly different coach personalities. But Rick Carlisle Carlisle came out and just laid it down to the Pacers. And the reality is maybe you want to hear it, but let's say Mike Brown said that after, you know, what are the Kings record now? 17 and seven, I think against teams below 500. Mm -hmm. And so maybe the first or second time they like, we can't afford, this is a lesson we had to learn tonight. We can't have this happen again. Right. It did happen again. So, I mean, I don't know if you kind of go all in, even if you say it in an emphatic way, it doesn't mean that it won't happen. I think they all know. I think they realize that I think it's difficult to, to not be in that situation, but that kind of separates the great teams. And I think the Kings are a good team and they're just trying to get to that great spot. Question number three. Sorry. Question three. The Kings will return home as the blank seed. I actually think they're going to return home exactly where they are right now. I think they'll go two and one. I think they'll, they're, you know, the sixth seed. Uh, and then when you look at the situation right now, they are the sixth seed. Uh, They are percentage points ahead of the Dallas Mavericks, and they are a half game ahead of the Phoenix Suns. If you look at the Mavericks' upcoming schedule... They only have two, both with the Jazz. Yeah, exactly. So you've you've got everything they're doing. um, Two with the Jazz, mm, one home, one away, Thursday and Monday, and then they've got those two versus Sacramento. Um yeah, I mean, they have two games, but one of them is next Monday. The Kings will play four games in that stretch. And then Phoenix, uh, them coming up again, being a half game behind Sacramento, Jason. Uh, they are at home versus Philly, at home versus Atlanta, and then Saturday and Monday at San Antonio. Let me rethink here. Yeah, there's actually a chance it could get worse before it yeah. gets better, even though this trip doesn't seem daunting for the Kings. To me, it's all coming up to next week. Those yeah. two games with Dallas are going to be massive. Absolutely massive. I mean, I know it's silly. We're going to be saying this a lot the rest of the year, but there's no doubt that so far, at least, that, that those those Dallas games are going to be the first true blue. Like, the Knicks kind of felt that way. These are going to be playoff games. Absolutely. Like, they're going to have that playoff field. It's the team, no matter almost, I mean, barring, like, the Kings going 0-3 and, and Dallas 2-0 and on these games, like, then the Kings could be a couple back of them. Mm-hmm. But they still would be within reach. And so you got to figure it's going to be within a half game, one way or the other, um, come Tuesday. And so they play them Tuesday and, what, Friday of next week, yeah. whatever it is? Yep. Both here. They've already beaten them twice there. One win gives you the season series. That's huge. But if you get both, you gain two full games. I mean, that that those two matchups are massive. And if you see Luca around town, he's going to be in town basically all week, yeah. Monday through Friday. But offer, him, offer him a meal. Buy him dinner. Buy him lunch. Yeah. Feed him. Feed him. Feed Luka Doncic yeah. so he can plot around the court. Yeah. By the way, triple-double last night. Did you see the uh, the line on his shooting? No. Oof. <laughs> uh, I think he actually was a, a personal worst, I guess you'd call it. Uh, Luka Doncic last night, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 16 assists. That's a good game. Yeah, it is. Or was it? Six of 27. Thirsty. (laughs) We'll take a break. When we come back, we are all thirsty for Kevin Herter updates. We got that and uh, some numbers on Keon Ellis as well. In the meantime, uh, I'm looking at my watch here, and uh, you know what it tells me? Uh, My watch is is painted with invisible ink. It's blue. It tells me it's Wednesday. That's hump day, middle of the week, all that. But you know what else it is?
Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at YouTube.com slash Sacktown Sports. Whether you prefer thrills or serenity, the 2024 Accord from Elk Grove Honda delivers both. With Honda Sensing Standard, the 2024 Accord is once again a winner of the 2024 Car and Driver's 10 Best Cars, making Honda the winningest brand in Car and Driver Award history. Drive a 2024 Accord Hybrid and see for yourself what the fuss is all about. We're Elk Grove Honda in the Elk Grove Auto Mall, Highway 99 at Elk Grove Boulevard. I gotta get an Elk Grove Honda Honda. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. A lot can happen between falling in love with a house online and owning it. Between imagining living there and breathing in your new home for the first time. Having an advocate who can help you navigate the complex world of financing, inspections, negotiating, analyzing the market, and talking through any anxieties that may pop up, that can make all the difference. That's what the expertise of a Realtor can do for you. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors and bound by a code of ethics. Because that's who we are. Country in the Park is back. May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. With Brantley Gilbert. Dustin Lynch. More tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Major Wood Home Furnishings, and RVs of Sacramento. The only place in the morning to get your sports fix. Live and local. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Welcome back. I'm Michael Dave, Jason Ross, Christopher Lodd, by the blast. Uh, Kevin Herter, they call it like a shoulder strain, whatevs. Uh, it could be a few games. Uh, yeah, I would think so. It could be the season. Yeah. We don't know. Um, they don't know that yet. Uh, it's all severity, it, right? It, that's exactly right. Uh, shoulder popped out. Um, obviously, there's some issues. Yeah. Did it get ligaments, though? Did it get some other, you know, uh, who was it? Randall's Randall still out. Still right. out. So it just really comes down to, um, I wouldn't say pain threshold. I think it just comes down to simply he has a left shoulder dislocation. Uh, you, you combine that with Trey Lyle's uh, MCL sprain. Sasha Vizankov has been upgraded to yeah. questionable for tonight. Yep. Uh, again, as we said yesterday, most likely, I, I think Sasha will make an appearance on this road trip. Uh, we don't have any more updates on Lyle's um, a, 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 as far as. Yeah, it wasn't going to be for two weeks or so. But it sounds like Herter is going to be out for a minute. And we'll continue to update that as much as possible. I think a lot of this is just how is it healing? How it, does it feel when he wakes up today? Mm -hmm. How does it feel when he wakes up tomorrow? Okay, well, does it feel good enough to start putting up, uh, you know, doing some stretching, then maybe some light shooting? Then, you know, you got to. Yeah, make but, progress. But also, and we know this, um, I, I saw this article yesterday was talking about and you got to be careful because this is one of those sources close to but it's talking about og and anobi and how it, it talked to unnamed coaches and, and players and people that have played with him before that og and anobi is not comfortable playing through pain and i know on the surface it's like oh he's soft and and i'm not necessarily disagreeing but also it may just be that he's not very effective playing through pain mm -hmm. whereas others there are people that have the ability to block it out. And I and I don't know for, for a lot of people if that's a choice. It's just everybody's built differently. My point is this. Kevin Herter, um, 
may be a guy that you got to you got to be near 100 percent to play or he may be a guy that's like i'm 60 percent, but uh it's weird these limitations are actually helping my shot maybe maybe this is what i'm planning on this is what i'm voting for maybe his shoulder dislocation is much like what happened in uh oh who's the uh rookie of the year where, where the kid fell in Henry Rowan Gardner. Yeah. Yes. He fell and lands on his shoulder. You hear the crack. Arm. Yeah. And the next thing you know, he's throwing the ball to the catcher from center field. Yeah. yeah. Next thing you know, Gary Busey does something. Yeah. And we're off to the races. Chet, the rocket Stedman. <laughs> the fact that you just, the fact that you've just got all this is fantastic. Seriously. We obviously want him back sooner rather than later, but it's a wait and see game, right? Yeah. Now. And so, you know, for him, it's the recovery. Hopefully yeah. it's not long, but we just don't know. For others, it's opportunity, and that's Duarte. I mean, we're going deeper. Yeah. Davion Mitchell and most likely uh, Keon Ellis, who, you know, we got the stat where he is as a starter. His record's been impressive. But in the rotation, he's been a guy that, you know, when the season started and you run it back, and Keon was part of the run it back, but yeah. you just – I honestly didn't think he would be a big factor on this team. And here he is I'm maybe at you. the end of the year – could be one of the more important pieces and it's getting beyond coincidence or hey he had a great game or this matchup favored him yeah. he is six and oh as a starter that's not a massive sample size right. but it's six games and there were a couple really good teams mm-hmm. in that situation let's take a look uh thanks to our, our good buddy uh Sacktown sports kings insider frankie carticelli keon ellis on defensive assignments against the memphis grizzlies he guarded desmond bain Remember, Desmond Bain had a great game. Mm-hmm. He guarded him for seven and a half minutes. In that seven and a half minutes, Desmond Bain was one of six with four points and had his shot blocked four times. Four of Keon Ellis's five blocks came against Desmond Bain in seven and a half minutes, which lends me to the question, why wasn't Keon Ellis guarding Desmond Bain for the entire game Desmond Bain was in the game? Great question. Just wondering. John Conchar. Conchar. I always want to say Concar because of Concac, but it was Conchac. Anyway, right? It was Concac. Was it Concac? Conchar. Yeah. Concac. Minute and a half. <laughs> uh, o of two with a block. Santi Aldama. Keon Ellis guarded him for a minute. O of one. Gigi Jackson. Keon Ellis guarded him for a minute. Zero points on no field goal attempts. Jake Laravia. I kept thinking they said Jake Arabia. 58 seconds, one of three, two points. It's actually really good compared to everybody else. And Dijon Giroux, 46 seconds. Keon Ellis guarded him. No points, one shot, 0 of 1. That's that's off night. Ri- that is seriously <laughs> off night. That is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Where does Keon Ellis rank amongst Kings rotational players this season? I'm going to throw a lot of... Uh, nerd things at you here they are plus 1.3 defensive epm that's first that's who he is 41.6 dfg first as far as deflections per 48 4.9 first 2.5 percent steal percentage second 3.3 percent block percentage third so in a smaller sample size he is the best defender on the team jason i'm not done Keon Ellis is holding opponents to 34.2% field goal percentage since the All-Star break. The only guards in the NBA ahead of Keon Ellis since the All-Star break, wait, there aren't any. Yeah. There are none. Zero. And that may be helping the Kings overall. In March, they are 6-3. and three. They are sixth in defensive rating. The Kings? The, the Sacramento Kings. Wow. Not the LA Kings hockey team. <laughs> they are seventh. In offensive rating, they are sixth in net rating. And the one I know will make you very happy, they're shooting 80% from the line. That's good enough for 11th place. If they're able to keep this up for the rest of the season, including the playoffs, they're going to be a lot better than they were before. (laughs) Good take. (laughs) No, but again, that's what we said earlier. Like All these ups and downs, if they do this to back up some of those numbers in what's the remaining part of the schedule – no matter where they finish, we'd all feel better about them going into the postseason. They would, right? Because yes. we'd be seeing improvement. I think the last five to six games, the defense has been better. I really do. I think it's visibly, but statistically, it has too. So you got to want, well, let's see. Emmanuel quickly is out tonight. Yes. 
uh actually let me see god who did the raptors let's let's we got a break be starting what gary trent i'm sure yeah gary trent will start for sure i want to see who their other i can't remember who their other guard was that they started last game they lost uh by 15 to the magic uh and they went with oh how could i forget sorry yes. grady dick yeah uh started at one guard he missed uh, the last time they played uh yes uh manual quickly also started but is out apparently tonight uh trent kelly olenek um you're, you're gonna have assignments yeah for keon ellis it's gonna Good. be exciting to see absolutely and i am excited for the game uh tonight 4 30 right here on the sporty 11 40 we will take a break when we come back hey baseball open today Woo! sort of yeah we'll tell you about that and uh we'll we'll go around the league as well uh in the meantime though i want to make sure i want to make sure that you know that you can get a diagnostic on your HVAC system right now for free. That's right. For my good friends at American Energy Heating and Air. I know they have a jingle. My jingle is good. I should be doing their jingles. 1981. That's how long they've been around serving the greater Sacramento area. Did you know that? Did you know they have an A-plus with the Better Business Bureau? Come on. And when it comes to saving money, they're inviting you to make the switch to electric this spring and save big. Stay ahead of the spiking energy bills we've all felt this summer especially. It's going to be hot. Up to nine grand in rebates on a new ultra high efficiency comfort system. American Energy is providing huge rebates from SMUD as well as spring specials by installing one of the many incredibly efficient AC options available to you now. Get rid of those up and down gas bills in the winter and switch to year round all electric with American Energy. Let them perform a free in-home energy efficiency analysis and see where they can help you save for the warmer months ahead. I'm kind of selling myself right now because I have solar. I have solar and I get all electric. Is that, hey, hey, these guys are the best. Learn more by calling at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990. AmericanEnergyAir.com. American Energy, making the uncomfortable comfortable. We're back with a little bit of baseball and a whole lot more next. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owed the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments. And after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. StocktonHonda.com. 
rating based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Elevate your golf game at Timber Creek Golf Course in Roseville. Just named to the prestigious Golfer's Choice 2024 Top 25 Public Golf Courses in all of California by Golf Pass. Timber Creek offers an unparalleled experience. Our revamped practice facility features a grass driving range, expanded putting greens, and a chipping area complete with sand traps. Whether you're a pro or just starting your golf journey, Timber Creek is the place to be. Visit us and discover why we're the talk of Sacramento and beyond. Unwind and tee off at Timber Creek Golf Course. Welcome to the March Mania sales event at Kia of Vacaville, Northern California's premier destination for automotive excellence. Get ready for an exhilarating showcase of our 2024 vehicle lineup, where innovation meets the road and customer satisfaction reigns supreme. Step into the future with the all-new Kia Sportage, where cutting-edge design harmonizes with dynamic performance. Explore the outstanding fuel efficiency of the Kia Nero, a hybrid marvel that redefines eco-friendly driving. Experience the unparalleled luxury and versatility of the Kia Telluride, setting new standards for sophistication and practicality. Don't miss out on our impressive selection of eco-friendly Kia hybrid options, tailored for drivers who demand efficiency without compromising on style. And for those seeking the EV9, Kia Avacaville has it ready for delivery or in stock. Visit us today during March Mania and discover why Kia of Vacaville is the ultimate destination for automotive excellence. Model availability and features may vary. Please visit Kia of Vacaville for more information. We'll give you your uh, baseball numbers here in just a second. Want to remind you as well, ELO tickets. Jeff Lynn's ELO. Coming up in the 9-13-7. Katie will join us at 9. And uh, coming up next, or not next, excuse me, at uh, 8. Yeah, that is next. Hello. Brian Katz, former uh, coach at Sac State. He uh, is not only an author. Uh, he's also a tournament guy, and he's going to give us some thoughts. Yeah, you know, um, from the coaching. So, well, really, from he's a basketball guy too. Yeah. So he'll maybe he'll have some of those numbers or metrics that you were giving us earlier. Those are interesting, detailed numbers. Yeah, there's always some. You can always you know, like the whole like, oh, most teams wear blue when they win the <laughs> title. You know, stuff like that. Go by mascots. Uh, exactly. You know, that's what my daughter does. Yeah. I mean, half the time she's right. Yeah. Hey, I uh, just want to go around to a few few notes here. It's kind of a mishmash segment. Um, there is a uh, there is a thread going around social media. What is the most insane thing ever said in an interview? And you know, there's a lot of material there, but this one caught my eye because it's sports related. I want to take you guys back to the Jim Rome show, which appeared on this station for many, many years. I remember being here when it happened. Were you here yeah. when that happened? I, I was listening in my car when it happened, and I almost, I remember it. I was on Marconi Avenue right near Eastern because I was going to the old Godfather's Pizza. I will never forget this. And I, you know, people say stuff, they exaggerate. Like, I almost drove my car off the road. I literally forgot what that I was driving almost listening to, uh, to, to the uh, the end of this clip you'll hear, Jim Rome was asking David Stern, the late commissioner of the NBA, about what uh, if the uh, Patrick Ewing draft, you know, the long-standing rumor was right. that the envelope was frozen yeah. and that they could feel how cold it was and they picked it and the Knicks got the, uh, the deal, got the player. Jim asked if it was rigged and David Stern with one of the all-time I'm a lawyer answers. What? the fix in for the lottery i have two answers for that i'll i'll give you the easy one no and a statement shame on you for asking i understand why you would say that to me and i wanted to preface it by saying it respectfully i think it's my job to ask because i think people wonder no it's ridiculous but that's okay i, I know i, I know that back. you think it's ridiculous but i don't think the question is ridiculous because i know people think that I'm not, I'm not saying i'm not saying that i do but i think it's my job to ask you that I, have you stopped beating your wife yet yeah, I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if that's fair. Why is that? Huh. Now, what Stern, first off, that's a very serious topic. Yes. I'm laughing because what Stern's doing is that is the classic attorney trick where you ask a question in which, and he's he's trying to, in a way, only David Stern could do back then. I don't know how that goes today. Hmm. To be, I really honestly can 
Sometimes I can guess pretty well how something would go today. I don't know how that would land today. I think it would land a little heavier. Yeah. But David Stern, in the way he only could do, was was doing the old trick where you ask somebody a question, and regardless of the way they answer, have you stopped beating your wife yet? Yes. Oh, so you used to beat your wife. Right. Have you stopped beating your wife yet? No. Oh. And what Stern was doing, and see, the thing where I think David made the mistake there was, there are a lot of other things you could have chosen right. other than something that right. serious. But what Stern was trying to do and turn the tables on Jim Rowe was just completely throw him off his game. Yeah. Now, say what you want about Jim Rome, good, bad, and different. Again, it was on the station for a long, long time. Jim Rome's not Jim Rome is not afraid. He does not get it. Chris Everett, Jim Everett. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rome's not afraid of these moments. Yeah. He'll ask the questions. He doesn't care. That threw him. Yeah. And I miss David Stern. <laughs> well, again, he, he wasn't perfect. Love him. Don't love him. Obviously, you know, we got a street named after him now. David Stern had his moments that were not great. And I think it's important anytime you look through history. Yes, King Sands will always be indebted to him because without David Stern, this this team's in Seattle. That is a fact, fact, fact -ity fact. But David Stern's also the guy that implemented a dress code once upon a time for very uh, questionable reasons. Yeah. I don't even think questionable reasons. Uh, and Stern was a guy that in a room full, and we learned this during the uh, during the relocation saga from many media members and other owners. David Stern was a guy that could walk into a room with 30 gajillionaires that owned NBA teams, and he owned all of them. Mm -hmm. He would, Even though he technically worked for them, he was the guy that swung the stick. And some of the some of the uh, stories that I heard, most of which I can't repeat. I know you've heard some too uh, about Stern during that entire process. Is he could be incredibly charming. He could he he would make you feel like you were the only one in the room, but he had a temper to him, and he had a way about him that was very, very serious and very, very intimidating, even though the guy was like three foot four, <laughs> uh, you know, and and choked on his, his bottle of water. That one gets me every time. Every single time that every gets time. me. And I, I, the, the, one, the, the one I always remember that someone told me, and again, this isn't confirmed, but I trust the individual. I trust them implicitly. Like, I know this is true, yeah, but I have to stress, this is unconfirmed. This is a, this is a story I was told. It was somebody that was deeply involved in the entire process to build the arena. And one of the things that was the, the I, I think the part of the conversation that was being had on the phone between David Stern and this individual locally was uh, then Senate president, California state Senate president, Daryl Steinberg, now the mayor, uh, had, had given David Stern the assurances that uh, he would get a bill passed in the California Senate that would effectively speed up the environmental process review for the arena, blah, blah, blah. So everything was looking like uh, this thing was going to happen. And Stern was having this conversation like, look, I'm I'm going to bat for you guys. I'm I'm going to um, I'm, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm still trying to figure out how to describe this on the radio. I'm going to go to bat for you guys. But it's based on a lot of you guys telling me to, that these things are going to happen. But I'm going to bat. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to try to present, help you present and get a, a, a good, solid at bat yourself. But if this doesn't happen, I'm going to fly out there. I'm going to cut off your... I'm going to wrap it around your neck and I'm going to choke you to death with it. And then he laughed. And it's I like mean, good for Daryl Steinberg. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like no pressure, no pressure. Right. And of course he kind of laughs and, you know, yeah. I'm just joking or, or, or am I? I? Yeah. And I remember in, in hearing this story shared with me, the person was like, did I really think he was going to do that? Of course not. But did he, have a very unique and graphic way of getting his point across that this better happen or else or else yeah. because I don't know what or else is, but I did not want to find out. And of course 
uh, or else never happened. And, uh, and here goodness. we go. Uh, <laughs> thank goodness. Uh, final numbers for Virginia last night, Jason. Uh, 28% shooting on twos, 17% on threes, 65% on free throws, 24 rebounds, four steals, and one block. No other Division One team in the last 25 years has had those stats or worse in a game. Wait, what was the percentage on threes? Uh, the percentage on threes, 17.6%. Remember that stat I gave about Halliburton uh, yesterday? Oh, oh he's my. less than that. Oh God, that's bad. Mm. I mean, we don't wish any of that on Tyrese Halliburton. Trade to the right card. Uh, speaking of, uh, real quick before we give you the baseball scores and get out of here, here was Tyrese Halliburton. Believe it or not, uh, after a game, I think this was yesterday. I thought this was interesting. We've talked about this before. You'll hear the question. The audio is a little rough, but. Uh, they're asking him, uh, well, just, just listen to the question. Nate. Oh, you spoke to him at the press conference with the Pacers. And if so, like, what was that process like? Because as an athlete, you're super confident all the time, right? But there are moments like you might need to, like, just hear somebody's perspective on something that you, if you're going through that for me. Yeah, for sure. Let me, uh, sorry about the audio. He was asked about speaking to a sports psychologist. Mm. That's the bottom line. Here's his answer. I mean, I, I've, I've done that for, you know, kind of the last couple of years. You know, it's been good. I mean, even when I'm not, when I'm not, I don't want to just talk to him when I'm struggling, you know, like, I think there has to be a conversation um, at other times, too, because I think, like, I mean, obviously what happens on the court is what happens on the court, but like, just life in, in general, it's important, I think, for us as as uh, basketball players, as, as men, to, to, to get those things out, because not everybody, not everybody cares to hear how we feel, or, I mean, that's just the point, like, I mean, to half the world, I'm just a... Uh, you know, helping them make money on draft kings or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a, I'm a prop. You know what I mean? Like, that's what my social media mostly consists of. You know, I think it's important for us to, like, have somebody to talk to. And, like, I think all that stuff is, like, it can be funny sometimes. And somebody's like, you know, I lost a $1,000. I don't give a <laughs> I'm sure they all get that. The NBA, I think it was yesterday announced, they are now adding live betting. Uh, to the uh, the in-game mm -hmm. app. You can watch your game, and then they'll have prop bets on the side, regular bets on the side. You hit that. It takes you right to, I think, DraftKings uh, or one of their partners, and you can make the bet instantly. Yeah, this is not only not going away. But it's going to get worse. As we continue to get in bed and make it easier and easier, not just for legal bettors, but let's be real here. A lot of 15- and 16-year-olds uh, that got mommy or daddy's ATM card or, or something secret, one of those uh, credit cards you can you can prepay, whatever it may be. Uh, you want to you want to develop a good business, start opening up gambling rehab centers hmm. in all these different states. Sadly enough, that's going to be good at business. Five to two, Dodgers beat the Padres in the opening game, not opening day of the year. Opening day is like in eight days. Five two in Korea. Uh, yeah. There you go. Shohei Otani in case you're hits. wondering. Yeah, had a couple of hits, including one apparently like through the like a foul ball through the roof, somebody was saying. Like oh, just wow. a towering uh ball there. N nothing I mean Padres had a grand total of four hits with that lined up Xander Bogarts with two. We'll take a break when we come back. Brian Katz, former Sacramento State's men's basketball coach, also wrote the book The Road More Traveled, a coach's view from the bench, former mid-major coach of the year. We're going to get into the tournament more with Brian next. Trying to find out where to catch your favorite team's games? Are you a fan of the Kings, Niners, and the NFL? Well, Sackdown Sports has you covered. Touchdown! Francisco! It's all on his shoulders. Cox rocks. He fires for the win. He's got the triple. Catch all your Kings, Niners, and NFL games all year long on Sacktown Sports and SacktownSports.com. No more mold. No more damage. No more outdated old bathroom. No more slipping and hurting. No more stress. Make your ordinary bathroom extraordinary for only $99 per month. New shower, new door, new tub, new wall, new anti-slip technology. Be stress-free. Call 800-976-8524. BCI Bath & Shower is made in America for the highest quality. Ask about our military and senior discounts. Your dream bathroom in as little as one day. First 50 callers save $1,500 on a never-clear glass-treated door. Call now for free premium color upgrades. 
800-976-8524. Call BCI Bath and Shower, the leader in bathroom remodeling. Be smart, safe, and stay a step ahead of inflation with our interest-free financing options. Call 800-976-8524. Love your bathroom with free upgrades. Call 800-976-8524. 800-976-8524. Paid for by BCI Acrylic. Sacramento Weather is brought to you by Bonnie. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. Your Wednesday starts out nice and cool. Bit of a delta breeze out there to start the day. For the afternoon, expecting mostly sunny skies and highs today in the mid-70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. Imagine taking a nice warm bath in your shower. Uh, let's fix that. Right now, get that clogged drain unclogged for just $67. Plumbing sewer, electric, heating, and air. Bonnie.com. Some restrictions apply. License 696-355. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event is on. Explore California this season with Toyota's legendary reliability. Take on spring with incredible fuel efficiency and more peace of mind. Right now, get low 3.99% APR financing on 2024 Highlander. Or check out great lease deals on the stylish 2024 Camry, Sporty Corolla, and Dynamic RAV4. Hurry in. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event ends soon. Toyota, let's go places. Offer available through TFS to buyers with premium rated credit. Excludes hybrids, ends 4124. With RT Painting, our name says it all. We are a reliable and trusted commercial and residential painting company serving the Sacramento area since 1998. Employee owned. Our attention to detail is second to none. Put our decades of experience serving our community to use for you. Get a free quote today. Call us at 916-900-8112. That's 916-900-8112. Or go online to rtpainting.com. That's rtpainting.com. RT Painting, your trusted and reliable painting contractor of choice. Jiffy Lube has a special promotion going on right now. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change at Jiffy Lube and receive a $25 e-gift card from popular brands for food, gas, and more. It's that easy. Simply purchase a Pennzoil Platinum full synthetic oil change and receive a $25 e-gift card. So basically, going to Jiffy Lube can get you a free lunch or a pizza for dinner. That's what we call added value for the consumer. That's why Jiffy Lube is number one in the greater Sacramento area. Area for oil changes, visit jiffylube.com for more details and valuable coupons today. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brantley Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Major Wood Home Furnishings, and RVs of Sacramento. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios. KHTKAM Sacramento. KYMX HD2 Sacramento. Sacramento's official home for the San Francisco 49ers. Touchdown! San Francisco! Town Sports. The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Hey, real quick, anybody want a puppy? You already done with the dog? <sighs> It's like I didn't keep the receipt either. Can't give it back. This dog sucks. What a surprise. Yeah, right? But it's affecting me. Uh, okay. and, and I care about that. Yeah. Just does not <laughs> want to sleep. Yeah. Stubborn as hell. Chewing everything. But like Chris. Yeah. All right. Anyways, we have, we have, a, we have a guest waiting and a very special guest. Uh, you'll remember him as the uh, men's basketball coach uh, at Sac State. Stingers up. Great guy. Uh, also, as we said earlier, authored the uh, book. Go check it out. The Road More Traveled, A Coach's View 
from the bench. And as we uh, get ready, we fill out our brackets. You know, we had some fun bracket facts earlier, mm -hmm. uh, but here's a guy that has forgotten more basketball than most of us know. And we're happy to bring it home right now. Uh, Brian Katz, Coach Katz, it's Dave, it's Jason. Good morning. Well, I don't know if I'm, if I'm going with the fact you're exaggerating or the fact that your dog sucks. I it's really yeah, good <laughs> well, information early in the morning. It sounds like my dog, actually. <laughs> well, well, you know, both can be true. I am ass kissing. Also, uh, it's always good to butter up the interview. Uh, and, and, my, and, and and but I'm not lying. And secondly, yeah, the dog. So it's a it's a puppy coach. And you're a coach. You're a guy that has made uh, a living off of training off of, 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 of giving parameters and, and consequences and rewards. And maybe at some point we can have an off-air conversation because I think that's what my dog needs right now. Somebody <laughs> come in there with a whistle and say, this is how it's going to be. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, God. Yeah, uh, yeah. I feel for you. I feel for you. I feel for you. <laughs> Well, I know you also feel for the millions of people out there that are uh, throwing brackets down, and and you know everybody's looking at. We had a we had a note today that like, uh, you know, eighteen out of the last twenty winners have had some form of blue in their that's, uniform. That's the, that's the key. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, really, Coach, what's your top line advice for anyone who, like us, watches you know an hour of college basketball a year, and then we try to be experts in March? You know, the big thing I look for is I try to look for teams that can win a variety of ways. In other words, they don't have one way the game has to go. Case in point, this will be easily the most entertaining game in the first round, Charleston and Alabama. These teams both shoot over 300 more threes in their opposition, and they want to get up down 100 miles an hour. But I don't believe either one of them will get by the second round because they can only play one way. And St. Mary's is sitting there. I believe St. Mary's will beat Grand Canyon. St. Mary's is a structured team that will slow you down and then beat you up in the half court. And neither one of those teams are built for that. So I look for teams that can win a variety of ways, fast, slow, maybe have a player in foul trouble or not. And can they win a game ugly? In other words, when they don't have their A game, can they still have a way to win when things don't go exactly their way? The other thing is, do they have older, seasoned, experienced guys? And that's why I think I'm the only guy who said this, but I, I picked Tennessee. I think Tennessee is going to win it. Mm. They, are, they are older, experienced guys. They can play a variety of ways, and they played in a great conference. I think they're really good. You know, Coach, as we're talking with Coach Katz here on the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline, Coach, I think that's happening a little bit more in the last couple of years. Look, we're at the top schools – um, it's tough one to keep if they're if they're NBA draft picks or lottery guys players there for very long. Two, the transfer portals now even more of a thing. So these schools that have players that have played for two, three, maybe four years, how advantageous is that for a program to have players that have played maybe sixty to eighty games together? Oh, it's it's unbelievable. Case in point, you watch James Madison. I have them going to Sweet Sixteen. I mean, no, everybody would say, well, who is that? Well, you know, they're exactly what we just described. And I, I really have them beating Wisconsin and going on and beating Duke. And, again, uh, good example. Let's just talk about last night. So here everybody would, would vomit about last night's game watching Virginia because it was 14 points and a half and all that. But the kid, Scott, for Colorado State, he's a very good player. Last year, he's a Division II player at Black Hill State, South Dakota. This year, he's the second leading scorer on a team that's really, really good. And this is a guy who was a Division II player. So all of a sudden, Colorado State can trade up, and they get a guy a little bit under the radar, but now he's older, he's 22, he's 23, he's, he's a man. He's not 18 years old. And, and that's why I think um, Kentucky, everybody likes them. I, I, I don't love them. I like them. I don't love them because – they have a lot, some. Young, they have a mix, but they have some very, very young guys. Super talented, but again, when when push comes to shove, I think it's the older, experienced, uh, seasoned teams that, that that have a tendency to win in this thing. You know, coach. Just overall, and, and Jason alluded to this a little bit, but you know, you look at last year, and we we we've been kind of on this this question this year. It's a common question we ask our guests. You look at the the the, the final four, and and just how 
crazy uh, that Final Four ended up being with seeds all over the place with the San Diego States and Miamis and all that stuff. To you, is that an anomaly, or is that going to be more the accept more the norm than the exception going forward, especially this year? You know what I think. I think it's going to be more the norm for exactly the reasons we talked. The transfer portal, the NIL, I think it's going to be more the norm. I really do. Uh, teams can quickly all of a sudden get a player or two and trade up. And, of course, good example, here's North Carolina. Now, they got a really good team, but they lose the Pac-12 player of the year, uh, the kid that goes out and goes to Arizona. Uh, I mean, really, really, Caleb Love, good player. They lose him. All of a sudden, you'd say, well, they're not going to be very good. Now, it, it seems to have turned out. They, they've got a good club. But you, you think about it. In the past, you'd never lose a guy of that stature. He's been an all-conference player a couple years in a row. And by the way, it looks like I, – actually, I have Arizona playing uh, North Carolina in what in the uh, West Elite Eight game and what everybody's calling the Caleb Love game, meaning, you know, he was at, he was at North Carolina and now he's at, uh, he's at Arizona. You know, Coach, you you could speak to this, and this is something maybe I've struggled with over the years. Because I mean, for a lot of people that maybe if they watch college basketball in general, so they're going to know about Kansas, they're going to know about Izzo at Michigan State and Kentucky or UCLA. Pick all your different regions, just big power conferences. But you were at Sac State, so a, a big Sky team. UC Davis, a big West team. You mentioned Drake. I, I, people are talking about Morehead State teams like that. When you get to the tournament and people see a record, but they know they're from a lesser conference, it's really hard for people unlike you, who's a coach that, that maybe studies film and sees these teams, to really evaluate these smaller conferences. What do you see as the differences in maybe a, what would be deemed as a smaller conference versus a traditional power conference? Well, probably a traditional power conference, they have a pro or two, which is always the difference maker. You know, you go down, at the end of the day, we can break this down all we want. But the team that probably has the most pros, and I'm talking about NBA pros, will we'll win it. Now, typically, uh, a big sky, big west type team, every now and then they have one of those guys, and that's how they get on a magical run. But if they don't, and again, here's the, the case in point. Tennessee's best player, Dalton Connect, who is probably going to be a lottery pick. Last year, where was he playing? Northern Colorado in the big sky. Mm -hmm. I remember coaching against him when I, I've been out three years. He was kind of a skinny freshman. You went, ah, oh, he could be pretty good. Well, he didn't know he was going to go to be 6'6 six, six and about 215, 220. I mean, he's as good as anybody right now. So typically, those teams, if they can get a guy like that, who's, who's a huge difference maker, all of a sudden they can really jump up. Coach, I want to ask you about a, a specific matchup in the first round. Number seven, Dayton. Number 10, Nevada. I, every year, there's one matchup that really, really flummoxes me. Is on one hand, you know, there's local ties here with Nevada. They're always well coached. Um, then you've got the Dayton Flyers. And I feel like every other year we hear Greg Gumbel saying, and the Dayton Flyers did something great. <laughs> as a guy who, again, has not paid attention all year, how do you see that 7-10 matchup going? I have Dayton winning. Okay. I think, uh, you know, if you watch them all year long, they've been way high up in the net. And uh, they're a very good club, very balanced. Uh, I think they're a little bit better defensively on the boards in Nevada. And I think that will be the difference in the game. But, yeah, no, they've got a great program. If you go back in time over years, they've been, they've been really good. They're, they're not, the only thing, as I'd say, is they're not real deep. But, boy, they kill you at the three-point line. They've made 70 more threes than their opponent. And they make more free throws than their opponents have attempted. Wow. So, they've, for example, they've made 453 free throws. Their opponents have made 294 and only attempted 401. So they have two huge statistical advantages. I always look at four things. you got to win at the three-point line, foul line, the boards, and turnovers. Now, if you win three of those four, you're awful good. Some teams have a huge statistical advantage. Dayton does. At, at the three-point line and at the foul line, they just crush you. So I, I believe that will be the difference, and I think they will beat Nevada. Okay. okay, and then another specific game. This one's on everyone's minds because everyone wants to look for their first round upsets, and the five twelve is now turned to the four uh, thirteens or the six uh, elevens, and that's the one I'm focusing on Friday uh, at noon. Number six Clemson, number eleven New Mexico. This seems to be the upset du jour, except New Mexico's favored over Clemson mm -hmm. in this situation. Uh, anything, anything worrying you about that matchup? 
I think New Mexico will win. Mm-hmm. I think, first of all, uh, th- their guards are really good. Their record's a little bit deceiving because those two kids were out for a number of games. But let's go back to, and I'm going to just generalize from it, ACC is evidenced by last night, not a great conference this year. They don't, in my opinion, they have two really good teams, North Carolina and Duke. Virginia was third, okay? Clemson was fifth or sixth way down there. New Mexico can really score. I think they're lightning in a bottle. I think they'll beat them. I really do. Coach, uh, so what was your final four? I know you mentioned Tennessee. Who else did you end up with for your picks? I have Tennessee and Houston, UConn, and Arizona. I think Arizona will beat North Carolina in the Elite Eight, and I think then um, Tennessee will beat Houston. Now, I want to put an asterisk by Houston. I think they're, they, this is the thing that always enters into it. I watched them. You know, they're really good, and they still are, of course. In December, they lost a kid named Arsenal to injury. So, well, he's only averaging five points. Well, the way they play, they like to run a lot of guys in and out and beat you up on the boards and just choke you out defensively. Then they lost the freshman kid, Tugler, who's a really good player, really good player, depth. And now Jawan Roberts got hurt in the tournament. Kind of, you know, is that the same team now? That's the question. So I have Houston there. I have UConn and I have Arizona. I have Tennessee beating UConn in the final. Wow. So let me ask you this, coach, and I'm not going to ask you, you know, this is such a tough question. Give us a couple of teams based on last year. You had your Florida at uh, Atlantic. You, you had your San Diego stage, your, your Miami. And I know Florida Atlantic, that's a nine seed versus a, a couple of five seeds, but who are a couple of teams you see this year that maybe uh, in a couple of weeks we're all sitting here going, oh, my God, they went that far? I think mean, BYU. Wow. I think BYU is going to get all, all the way to the uh, Elite Eight. And, and, and here's the reason why. This is an amazing deal. Over half of their shots are threes, and they can make them. They've shot four four threes in their opponents. They have a variety of guys yet. They have some size inside. And I'll tell you, the Big 12 – you talk about really have them battle tested. I see them beating Duquesne. I haven't beaten Illinois in the second round, and I haven't beaten Iowa State. I mean, they are really a hard team. They can put five guys on the court at all times that can shoot it, and yet the the big guys who can shoot it can, are still thick enough and strong enough to guard you down low. So I have BYU going to lead eight. It's Brian Catch, Coach Brian Catch, former major coach of the year. The road more traveled. A coach's view from the bench is the book he wrote. Look it up, get it, grab it, get more educated. Coach, we appreciate that. Everyone's looking for all the help they can get on their brackets and a few people as good to listen to on that as you. So we appreciate your time. Hey, thanks so much. And all you got to do to get that is just go to Amazon and uh, you can you can order it as we speak. Go so, to Perfect. Appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you. Thanks, Thanks coach. Thank, Thank you. you, coach. Take care. Amazon's got everything. Yeah, Amazon does have yeah. does have everything. Almost. What did I try to order? The, oh, you can't order. <laughs> you can't order those little tanks of propane from Amazon. I'm not talking about the big ones right. that you hook up to your barbecue. I'm talking about like the little green Coleman ones. Okay, there's probably a reason for that, I guess. But yeah, I'm sure there is. is like, you can get it. Like, I didn't just order this this morning, and here it is in the doorstep. We're pretty much like there if if you're smart enough to have it all hooked up but you're pretty much there where you can if you wanted to and you're savvy enough like pretty much have your house like my fridge now has an option which i don't have turned on where when the water filter runs out all i got to do is put my amazon info in there and it will automatically order a water filter it can see how many if i put the egg container in the right place the clear egg container that came with the fridge it has a camera in there that will tell you when you're low on eggs. And if you have this thing turned on, we'll order eggs for, for you from uh, Amazon Marketplace. That's wow. a little weird for me. Yes, a lot. Weird. That's something my kids would do when yeah. they're older. That's a little weird for me. When we come back, uh, opening day in Korea is a little weird for me. That's weird. The sole game today <laughs> happening out there between the Dodgers and Padres. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that. More bracket talk and more next. Keep it here to Sacktown Sports for the Sacramento Kings push toward the postseason. Get analysis from our local shows, breakdowns from our Kings insiders, and all the thrilling moments from the G-Man. Keegan Murray scrambles to save it. He gives it now to Barnes. One on the flop. Desperate three on the way. He scores the triple. Game tied at 121 apiece. 
17 for Barnes. Sackdown Sports is your proud home of the Sacramento Kings. For a precision-crafted performance, the decision is easy. A new Acura from Acura of Stockton. Get the driving experience you've been waiting for in a new Acura. Get the best selection and customer service you deserve from Acura of Stockton. Shop in person or use our online express store at acuraofstockton.com. Acura of Stockton will buy your trade, even if you don't buy from us. Don't settle for less than precision crafted performance of a new Acura from Acura of Stockton and acuraofstockton.com. Capital Casino has been serving the greater Sacramento area in the same convenient downtown location for over 20 years with plenty of close-by, well-lit parking monitored by security staff and offering the most variety of table games in the region in a safe and friendly environment. Best food, best service, and the best action, that's Capital Casino. For more information on tournaments and gaming, check out their website at capital-casino.com. And please remember to gamble responsibly. 1-800-GAMBLER. They bleed black and purple. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on your local sports leader, Sacktown Sports. Number three, Illinois versus number 14, Moorhead State. I have uh, have two brackets. Yeah. One if I've picked each team in that one. I think part of the problem is growing up in the 90s, like I always have Go a soft spot for Illinois. Because, uh-huh. you know, they were good. Yeah. And, and now they're sometimes good, sometimes not. Good old uh, Moorhead State. I don't even yes. know who they are, the, the, the whoever's. Probably the Wildcats. No, sounds about right. Uh, by the way, uh, we read this to start the show, a, a disturbing bracket trend that only Reddit could pull up. And uh, I want to, I'm going to be very careful here and use innuendo because it's they're the Eagles, by the way, they're the Eagle, the yeah. Moorhead state Eagles yeah. in every tournament since 2021, a top two seed. That's <laughs> not, a, you know, it's close enough. Yeah. A top two seed has lost in the first round to a team with a, uh, and the suggestive, in, suggestive name. Okay. Okay. Now we're not trying to be a uh, shot jobs. He's a real college name. Yeah. In 2021, number 15, Oral Roberts defeated number two, Ohio State. In 2022, number 15, St. Peter's defeated number two, Kentucky. In 2023, number 16, Farley Dickinson defeated Purdue. That's three years in a row. Once is happenstance, twice is a coincidence, three times is a pattern. Be warned, this year. Number one, Houston will face number 16, Longwood. So, actually, now that I think about it, I don't even want to say it in context, but <laughs> we may want to go back to that Illinois game. As well. <laughs> um, I don't know what to do with that. I've got a question for you about brackets. Uh-huh. As a longtime participant yes. in brackets. And I'd like to, I'd like you to include in the future, former, uh, 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 I have a ring. Former champion. Oh, I'm sorry. I, former, need to, former, I should respect that. Yeah, I, I feel like it. I feel As like a that, former champion yeah. and kind of a runner up, even though you yeah. technically weren't runner up, but you would have been a champion. Would have been. Final game gone differently. So it wasn't for Mario Chalmers. That bothers you more than the win you celebrate. Well, you know what? That's such a great insight yeah. into my personality. Yes. But I think that's common for a lot of people. It's like, oh, we won four championships, but that other one, that fifth one, I'm so like, you won four titles. I am far more upset at the Mario Chalmers year where I lost on that stupid shot. Who did you win with? Uh, I see. You can't uh, even... uh, Vir- uh, was it Virginia? Did you? I was it Virginia? that year? Maybe it wasn't. I don't. I... Uh, either way, yeah, I should know. But um, see, I remember yes. that. I can't even remember who it was. The, the one. Wound. But the good, the cool thing is, is I finally now when we have our whole get together and we all wear our jerseys, I get the little gold patch on the back. You do. Yeah. You do. Anyways, um, I, well, I think it's already answered in that response. <laughs> um, what's worse to uh, have a your champ like your bracket done tomorrow or Friday, basically, if your yes. champ is out, or if you have the champ. But you're one of 40 people and you're in like 29th place just because of you yeah. lost the Illinois yeah. Moorhead State. Like, you're like, I'm too far behind. I can't 
mathematically catch up. I think the worst thing is when you lose your champ early. I honestly, then you're just because done. then you're just you're just, and like, I'll always try to talk about like, well, if no, I'm out. There's no way. There is a unique feeling that happens, and honestly, I would put brackets in there. Uh, uh, the closest to that feeling when you're out, especially early. It's very much like when the Niners lost the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. It's the same type of depression. It's like I gotta wait a whole nother year. Yeah. I'm going to be this how many years old. I start yeah. thinking about how old my kids will be like, I have to wait this whole time. <laughs> if you yeah. lose your champion in a bracket, if I lose my champion in a bracket, it feels like when, or the last day, the Kings uh, lose, yeah. you know, lost in the playoffs last year. It's this depression knowing that you've got to wait a whole day after Christmas. Yeah. you got to wait a whole year to do it again. Okay. So but now Christmas is usually fun. Yes. Yeah. But that's the thing. Everything else is super. Okay. It's, this isn't the same, but also it's it's a little bit of the feeling of when you buy a lotto ticket when it's seven hundred million, uh-huh. and everybody does this. You know you're not going to win, but you allow yourself you a what? minute or two yeah. to imagine it. I I will when I go to sleep. That's my go to sleep thought. I'm like, I got the ticket right here. Here's what things would be like, and yeah. then I fall asleep. And then when the lotto numbers are red, you know you weren't winning. Yeah, but still, there's a tiny part of you that's like, uh, next why, time, why am I alive? No, we'll see. That's you. Oh, yeah. uh, next time, me. I'm like, why do I even? Why am I even alive? Yeah, but statistically, then- you can't win the lottery. Statistically, you <laughs> can't win the lottery. Yeah. What does that mean? Like it is impossible to win the lottery. The the odds are so insane. Yeah, isn't it like? But isn't it like you have the the odds of getting struck by lightning three times? Or this? I don't know. You I think that. it might be more than that. <laughs> more than that. Yeah. Anyways, you finish your question. So yeah. uh, I guess here's an offshoot of that. Would you rather lose your champ like in the first day, first weekend, mm-hmm. or at the end? At the end, you I, would. So I, now I, you've got a couple weeks of torture. I do, but a couple weeks of torture, but also a couple weeks of engagement. Let me. So this isn't lining up. I guess what I'm getting to is where your Kings thought. It, like it's not. You're right. Would you rather make the playoffs like ten years in a row and be out in the first round, or yeah, you know, losing the final? It's like they're all, either way. They're both painful. I will tell you this much: the Carmichael Dave end of the March Madness coverage on the, on this show will be decidedly different. If you're in, it if I'm not. in it or not, just yeah. out of natural engagement. If I'm still, I'm watching every minute of every yeah. game. I'm charting. I'm doing the math. Yeah. If I if if I lose my champion in the first week or whatever, then I start thinking stuff like, like the guy who gets rejected by the girl he asked to the dance. Hey, Bonnie, do you want to go to the dance with me? No, you're stupid. And then later on, he's like, well, she's ugly anyway. Yeah, you start, I didn't want to go with her. I didn't want to go with her. Wow, yeah. that was a really good analogy. See? I, I start convincing myself, like, you know what? This bracket stuff is dumb. Yeah. It's and then you're secretly time. like, oh, Jason and Chris are still in. No, I'm not rooting for them. No, and secretly. <laughs> secretly. Openly, I'm super like, rooting for oh, you I hope you that. guys win. Yeah. It's like if your friend won the lotto, you're like, of course, you're going to be openly happy for them, but that go to sleep thought is going to be like murdering them and taking their money. Not for real. Let's be clear, but you're going to, you're going to, you're going to think about it, but you're going to turn the pages in the brochure a couple times about murder. Yikes. <laughs> Chris remind uh, d- uh, to not tell Dave, if we win the lottery, sometimes I say things out loud. You do. And they just, but they're real thoughts. And by the way, can I say, when I say murdering, I mean that emotionally. You want to emotionally murder somebody? And I'm going to emotionally take your money. Everyone knows if they had a friend that won the lotto, you'd be ha- you'd really be happy for them for real. For real. Yes. But there'd be this, like, if they had a work pool here and everybody bought in and you didn't and they won the lotto, you're going to be happy for them. You're going to hug and, like, all that. Oh, you're- I would not be happy for I them. would be happy for them, but I would also go home and on the drive home just, like, Remember how uh, dude in the Christmas story with the bumpus hounds? I'd be regal fresh and regal, I'd be yeah. all the swear words would come out because you know jealousy, envy, yeah. not good traits, but you have them. Yeah, you just got to be on. Like Tyrese Halliburton said, you got to be open. And let these things out. Too many people bottle them up. So, anyways, I don't, I don't that hate was anybody. absolutely insane. I don't hate anybody for anything. We'll take a break. Tell well, us we... about your sleep thoughts tomorrow. <laughs> your go to bed thoughts. <laughs> well, it's going to be uh, hopefully about a Sacramento Kings win. Better be over the uh, Toronto Raptors yeah. tonight. Let's take a look at that, and uh, we need a full segment because we have to list everybody that's out for Toronto, which of course means the Raptors will probably win. But we'll tell you how the Kings can come back from that. Even the Raptors out. Even the actual Raptor yeah. is injured due to it says it, Raptor out extinction. 
<laughs> we'll be right back ah. after this. Did you miss any part of our live local shows? Don't worry. You never have to miss them again. Check out SackdownSports.com and search our podcast page and play our shows when you want. The Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and The Drive Guys. Plus, other podcasts like Return of the Empire, Return of the Roar, The Stingers Up Podcast, and Golf to Go with Frank LaRosa. They're all available right now on SackdownSports.com. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Arnold Law Firm. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA3 Weather Center. Your Wednesday starts out nice and cool. Bit of a delta breeze out there to start the day. For the afternoon, expecting mostly sunny skies and highs today in the mid-70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA3 News and the KCRA3 app. The recent storm has caused dangerous driving conditions for us. The Arnold Law Firm has seen how a collision can turn anyone's life upside down. Be alert and stay safe. The Arnold Law Firm, providing real justice for you since 1975. Call 916-777-7777. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority our customers love doing business with us and you will too looking to own or lease during the spring sales event drive a brand new accord or civic visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com. your one-stop honda shop Folsom Lake honda, yeah. your one-stop honda shop. the sewer system it's probably the last thing on your mind and that's okay because at the sacramento area sewer district it's our first priority as the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. Taste on a whole new level at Sky River Casino in Elk Grove. Enjoy the height of hospitality, whether you're craving an upscale steakhouse, authentic Chinese hot pot and dim sum, or having a refreshing beverage while watching the game. Visit skyriver.com today. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Kevin Lewis of National Garage Door. Whether you need to repair a broken spring, install a new opener, or buy a quality Rainer door, National Garage Door is here for you. Call us today to see how we can transform your house with a new garage door. 638-4554 National Garage Door. Mato Chevy saves you $8,000 off MSRP on every new Silverado LT and RST half-ton diesel in stock after rebates. A Mato Chevy exclusive. See all the truck season savings at MatoChevy.com. Together, let's drive. See dealer for details. Ends for 3024. Lead generation is one of the most important aspects of any marketing campaign. Let us help you identify your target audience and market your products or services to them. Go to aimyourdigital.com today. Aimyourdigital.com. Ever since we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, even in my hiding spots. Ha! Found ya. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY or visit a store today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. Hey guys, do you know your T-Level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T-level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. And kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. 
With conference championships around the corner, now's the time to register for the Dose Million Bracket Challenge. Sign up now at TwinPeaksBracketChallenge.com. Then fill out your bracket before the tournament tips off March 21st. Capital Casino conveniently located on 411 North 16th Street in downtown Sacramento. Michael Dave Show with Jason Ross. Call or text at 916-339-1140. On Sacktown Sports. You can text us at 916-339-1140. A couple of cleanup texts we should get to. Guys, I don't know if you know this or not, but I have the perfect bracket right now. My expectations are not unrealistic. It's going to be incredible. First game, uh, if it happens, I lose. I rip the whole thing up. It's all over. What was the point? But for now, I have the most. I am the most incredible bracketologist <laughs> uh, in the world. It, it it is very similar when you fill out a bracket. It is a very similar feeling to when you wrap up a fantasy draft, and yes. you look at it and you're like, mm, God, I I I'm 100 winning the title. Yeah, I mean, you picked the players you wanted for a reason. Like yeah. there might be someone that went right before you or after. Right. Now you and I are in the same situation this year where. Uh, Florida State's been in it before, maybe even been a pretty good seed. Yeah. And so then you have to decide on that. For me, UCLA, I would say I generally probably go around too far maybe with them, but never uh, – I, I don't remember the last time. Maybe in the Kevin Love years I picked them to win it all because I'm like, I think they could. They made the Final Four three mm-hmm. or four years. But um, even the last couple of years when they were good and made some tournament runs, I didn't have them as far as, as they went. I'm very guilty of – underestimating my favorite teams yeah like i i i over argue with myself to not be a homer yeah and then sometimes it screws me up. well that's the one that's the weirdest one for me is that's generally the team i've seen the most so it's like i know the strengths yeah but i certainly know the flaws and i'm like yeah i don't know i don't know if they can be and then i put all this stuff on i don't think they could beat you know uh connecticut because look what they've got all it's like all right they've beaten plenty of good teams this year so yeah it's, but without my – so if UCLA's top priority, then right. it's bracket for me. So now it's all bracket. Well, and then you do the thing where you're like – like I was doing with, uh, what was it, Marquette, where they lost to like uh, – what was it, UConn mm-hmm. th- three times. by So I'll look at a team and be like, oh, well, they beat this team, this – or they got beat by this team, this team, and this team. And then I have to click on the team that beat them to see if they beat – oh, yes. no, but they lost to these horrible teams. I'm right. like, what is it? Like Virginia – sucked and lost yesterday acc they were third in the acc oh yeah. my god north carolina is in the right. ACC. Well, what does that mean yeah. well north carolina did well against them yeah. right so maybe i should put duke lower too uh, yeah. uh also uh from the 801 off that last conversation if your best friend wins like 500 million in the lottery is it in poor taste to ask for like 25 grand i mean when you have 500 million 25 grand is like asking for five bucks right first off if it's your best friend and they win 500 million you should not have to ask for 25 grand. Like for if I won 500 grand, like you guys are getting 25 grand. Everyone I know, well, not everyone yeah. I know, but I'm going to write a list and I'm going to basically have a, 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 a cashier's check for each person. I'm going to send it to them or give it to them and be like, hey, listen, I want to avoid all this lottery winning crap. Like, I love you. Here's your thing. Just don't ever ask me for anything. Exactly. And, and, and like, that's your thing. Yeah, I. I mean, I know this happened. I, I couldn't say I know it from experience, but I got to believe it happens when like the uncle and the, mm-hmm. the cousin and people come out of the woodworks. But if you ask a family member or a friend, like unless it's a dire thing, but then the dire thing is, hey, I need whatever to pay for this bill. If it's like Billy needs I a need, kidney, yeah. I'll take the phone call. But you don't need, well. But what kind of interest? Hey, I need a million. Me? You don't need a million you dollars. Don't need a mil- no, but it's more like the worst ones have to be when like your uncle yeah. Who you like grew up and influenced you and you look yeah. up to like a, a parent is like, you know, Jason, hey, uh, got to tell you, I went to the seminar and I and listen, filtered shower water is the next thing. Can't miss. I'm trying to help you. Yeah. Well, you don't think I'm stupid, do you? You don't think I'd be taken by this. And then you're like, Can answer that. Yeah. yeah. That's all I'll say. Yeah. Gave all my money away. Sorry. Gave, yeah. I yeah. gave it all to charity. You know what I do is I'd find that's what I would do. I would I would call all the like brokerages and I would simply be like, I have a weird question. Do you have a rep named Charity? 
And as soon as I found one, then I could tell everybody I gave all my money to charity. And I'm well, not some places that have people in charity. Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's what I would do. Yeah. And then I'm not lying. Right. I uh, don't know if you saw this or not. DeMontis Sabonis was on with uh, Deuce and Mo. Did you see this? I did. They asked him if he enjoyed the chant. That's the DeMontis Sabonis chant. Yeah. In case you're wondering. Here's what he said. I'm embracing it. My kid loves it. Yes. He sings it. He has a dance to it. Uh, he's obsessed with it. I mean, keep doing it. Yeah. I will say again, and I say this only out of love and not out of uh, greediness because the Kings have been – in, I mean, instrumental. Like they, they've done wonderful things to establish that chant. But I, I will. We've said it before. It's right on the precipice of being fully adopted. I'd yep. say a good 50, 60, 70 percent are into it now. Depending on also the play, yeah. you just need a couple of games with the bouncing lyric, the ball. karaoke ball, whatever, with lyrics on or with verbiage on with the, verbiage on the big board, and it's in. As soon as you hit the the button for the music. Hit that, have that button attached to the video screen button, and it, uh, the little ball, do, Montes, uh, and everyone will go, oh, that's what everybody's yeah. saying. And then that's and, it. I mean, maybe save for the postseason. D- do you think we do it for the postseason, you mean? Or maybe that's the time to bring it out. Oh, to bring out the bouncing ball? I, 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 okay. Or do you want it in place? I want it in place for the, I want everything buttoned up. This thing will be official. When we get a national TV commentator being like, and if you're wondering what, because they've done that for Keegan, yeah, saying if you're wondering what they're they're singing, that's Domantis Sabonis, and then go into this whole thing about a soliloquy about how the Sacramento Kings fans are the best in the world, and they're yeah. the most unique, and blah blah blah. And by the way, if it's up to me, almost every player has. I want every player to have a thing. Yeah, I'm the same guy that wants a soccer style, a style song sung in the third quarter. Right. We need a fight song, but we're not we're not there. You know. Yeah. Baby steps. Baby steps. Yeah. What was it? Uh, Jody Foster's dad in Contact used to tell her all the time. I did not see that movie. Oh. You haven't seen Contact? I feel I'm having deja vu. I feel like we've talked about that before. Doctor Lecter. <sighs> no, is that what she said? No. No. <laughs> Wrong. Eighteen Jody. times over. Wrong. Jody Foster movie. Doctor Lecter. Doc, uh, Contact is one of those movies that I would put in. It's certainly no Shawshank Redemption. Or uh, the Mel Gibbs, the Patriot, where you can just watch it whenever. Uh, Hunt for Red October. It is one of those movies though that's incredibly rewatchable. I, 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 I highly suggest get a chance. The wrong contact after the Crown. I don't feel like you're going to watch the Crown. I 100 percent will not. Well, you're missing out, pal. <laughs> just like Jacob Pertle, uh or Jakob Pertle, yeah, uh, is going to be out. Uh, he will. He will miss the Crown, and he <laughs> will miss uh, tonight's game. Emmanuel quickly. R.J. Barrett. R.J. still out for uh, that tragedy with his brother. Uh, Florida State. Scotty Barnes. Uh, Chris Boucher, and uh, D.J. Carton. Oh, who, D.J. Carton's out. D.J. Carton's out, but. We'll be appearing at Thunder Valley sometime later this yes. summer. Wonderful show. Yes. That's the turntables and uh-huh. all that. Uh, also, uh, DJ Carton, he, he, he's a basketball player. DJ Carton is a uh, he's a musical artist, also a uh, a radio show in New York. And sports. Yes, yes. DJ, Carton. DJ Craig Carton. Yes. Uh, so they're all out for tonight's game. Uh-oh. Uh, I know. Red alert. I Red know. alert. Well. Jason, let's take a look, shall we? Let's go to the NBA. Let's go to tonight's games and dun, 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 Kings Raptors 430 right here on the, your home of the Kings Sackdown Sports. I believe Chris went first yesterday, I think. Um, Jason, who is favored? They're in Toronto. Kings. Kings are favored, you say? Okay. And by how much? By the way, to, before you answer, Kevin Herter and... Sahas Vizenkov. Uh our well, Kevin Herter's out. Sahas. <laughs> I'm yes. calling him that. That's what it says on the sheet. Sah- I'm, I'm, it, it's Sahas. It's Sahas. Yeah. I'm calling him that for the rest of the year. Sahas Castillo. I'm both- <laughs> <laughs> Sahas Castillo is great. I'm putting the little line over. What would it be over the A? What's the little line? The 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 Oh, that yeah. goes over the, yeah. the letter. Sahas. Which A? Uh, the second. I feel like the second one is probably way Sahas. wrong. Sahas. Or do I, do I put like the, do I put the two dots over the H? Oh, maybe. What is it? What are they, isn't that an umlaut? For some reason, I know that. Sounds right. It sounds right, right? An umlaut, which sounds like a car. 
or a breakfast. Or a breakfast. I ate an umlaut. I ate a cheese umlaut. <laughs> a Denver umlaut. <laughs> so, Sahas, Sahas, that's great. Bizetkov, it's been upgraded to questionable. What's up with Tri Lyles? <laughs> Tri Lyles is not playing. Okay. Uh, Kevin Herter is not playing. And again, all those other people are out for the Raptors. So, Jason Ross. All right. Kings uh, road game. Oh, watch an umlaut. Like, oh. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Kings, nine and a half. We do not have a correct answer. And might I add, both of you, both of you are too low. Above nine and a half? The Sacramento Kings are favored by 11 and a half in Toronto. Now, I've been very confident, and I'm on a really good streak right now. We are, I should say, as a show when it comes to predicting these outcomes or at least the style of games. I will admit, this one's got me a little bit. I do think the Kings will win. I do believe the Kings will win. But will they win by 12 or more is the question. This is a... My heart says they will, but my brain says, are you stupid? (laughs) Of course they won't. This is going to be like a hard-fought seven-point win. Um, so hey, we'll take it. Yeah, I'm going to take the Raptors in the points, though. All right, I'm looking at their past results here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Yeah, Kings don't generally do. I mean, I, for some reason, I remember a Paige Stojakovic overtime three in Toronto. I think it was triple overtime. Was it tri- that you're right? Franchise history. That right. was the same time that in our school we had a triple overtime game in the playoffs against new life christian <laughs> i remember that I remember and i didn't we cover both the next day we yeah. were both in the paper for La- a triple overtime wow game. look at that the new life christian bears i don't remember what they were <laughs> well, who were you guys sacramento lutheran panthers the panthers <laughs> um also last year they were there and mike brown got tossed from that game yeah he did he came back yeah. yes uh, so they've lost seven in a row. They have. Here's their losses. Uh, to the Pelicans by, oof, uh, what is that, 42? Oh, my God. 41, excuse me. Okay. To the Suns by seven on the road. Okay. To the Blazers by 10 in overtime. Okay, we couldn't beat the Blazers. To the Nuggets by six. That's and that was good. when they were leading the whole game. Denver had a big second half. Uh, they lost to the Pistons by nine. Ugh. Lost to the Magic by 10 and lost to the Magic by 15. Okay. Well, um, half might be good spread. This tonight would not be a Wolody. Why? Well, because I think the Pistons at home is the Wolody. This would be up there, though. They're on a seven-game losing streak? Seven-game losing streak without the players you mentioned. It's pretty significant. Tonight would technically be classified as an Oot Wolody. Okay, I need to go to the chart. I, I don't see it on my chart. What's that mean? It's a new phrase because we're having a lot of these or enough of these. It sounds German, perhaps. An ut waloti. Yeah. One of the worst yeah. losses <clears throat> of the yeah. year. But I don't think, I think, I don't, nothing's topping Pistons at home, right? I don't think. Even Wizards on the road, unless they lose by like 30, 20. I, when you say nothing, I felt like we were going down that road recently. Oh, the, maybe the Spurs the game. Spurs? That Webb and Yama, and it was home out of the All-Star break, plenty of rest. Yeah, I, it would have been. That would have been a conversation. Yeah. Hey. Oot Willoughty. <laughs> we're going to have like a 12-letter nap yes. in him next year. Uh, we'll take a break. When we come back, who's hot, who's not? We got to th- who, who? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I think. I hope Chris does. He does. Uh, we also have a three in the key for tonight's game, Kings and Raptors, and a Kate Christensen. We'll join us at the uh, top of the hour. Sacramento Kings TV analyst live from Toronto. Uh, we'll get all that right after this. What's the missing piece for the 49ers? Which names will they add during free agency? Whether it's in season or off season, the coverage never stops. Get the latest 49ers news on Sacktown Sports at SacktownSports.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. 
Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe, Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show hair grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using hair grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try hair grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to newnordicusa.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with hair grow by New Nordic at new N-O-R-D-I-C-U-S-A.com. Discover your dream home at Subcontractors United, your source for all home improvement needs. A talented team of home services experts is ready to make your projects a breeze. No more endless internet searches. Find your contractors in one place. Enjoy stress-free service absolutely free with no hidden costs and no accounts to set up. Transform your living space into something extraordinary. Visit Subcontractors United today and experience the joy of hassle-free home improvement. Dream big at subcontractorsunited.com. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. This car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, El Grove Kia and the El Grove Auto Mall and online at elgrovekia.com. El Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. Right now, while you're sitting on the couch or just driving around, your friends are at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range, powered by Top Tracer. The vibe is perfect, whether you're an accomplished player or a newbie. Play a variety of fun games, play Pebble Beach, or compete against friends at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range. Hungry? The Hangout Food Truck offers burgers, chicken strips, and more. Check the summer-long free concert schedule. Be a part of the fun at the Hagen Oaks Driving Range, Fulton Avenue, Cap City Freeway, open until midnight. What's hot and what's not? Brought to you by American Energy Heat and Air, making the uncomfortable comfortable. Head to AmericanEnergyAir.com to find out more. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda Hotline. Folsom Lake Honda is your one-stop Honda shop. What's hot? Yeah, hot. Real hot. What's not? It's not good. Brought to you by American Energy Heating and Air, Sacramento's complete heating and cooling company, and second opinion partner. Hey, Chris. Who's hot? One more with Pat. Hey, Chris. Who's hot? hot? Keon Ellis. Keon Ellis. With the unfortunate injury of Kevin Herter, Coach Brown said that Keon Ellis will get the start, but that could be good news for the Kings. Mm-hmm. So far this season, Keon Ellis is 6-0 and with the Kings when he starts a game. That's undefeated. Point spread should be higher. Sorry, I was, uh, I'll was. i break this out during a crosstalk, but I was on the phone during the break with uh, a person that knows things, talking about both uh, the, the, this, the Styles and Watkins show. Yeah. Oh, the monk. The, we want the monk. The fastest growing show yeah, in Sacramento. Absolutely. Uh, their idea is to 
have them play the sample of we want the funk yeah. after a bleak monk pass. Yes. I love that idea. Cause I mean, I get the sound they're playing now, but it's like, it's, it's kind of weird. It is a little weird. Right. A little weird, a little, yeah. little, little, little funky. Yeah. You know, that's fine. But I feel like I, I actually like, we like, we want the funk people can vibe out and dance to it yeah. all that. And so I wanted to pass that along and I'll, I'll let them know what was said. Okay. And then, uh, also throughout the idea of the Sabonis lyric. Yeah. And, uh, they said that maybe they could get the ribbons, the uh, little, what do you, how would you describe what the oh. ribbon is? The Oh, for like karaoke? <sighs> yeah, but I'm talking about in the, yes, but like for in the arena, there's the scoreboard graphics, yeah. and then there's the little line. Oh, it, like where people put like the uh, ring of honor. Yeah, like yeah, things. that's called a ribbon. Our name shows up there. Yes, it does. Yeah. And so, you know, maybe they activate those a couple times because we want it in, in place for the playoffs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So we are officially, I feel like we are becoming the official vibes partner. Yeah. Of the Sacramento Kings. For sure. So who's not hot then? Players being guarded by Keon Ellis. <laughs> this is courtesy of Sacktown Sports Insider, Frankie Cardicelli. Frankie clicks. It's heard earlier. When Keon Ellis was guarding Memphis Grizzlies, they were, they only shot six points and two of 13 from the field. Also, might want to add into the who's not the currently the Toronto Raptors who the Kings played tonight. Uh -huh. They've lost seven in a row, mm. lost nine of their last ten games. Yeah, that's why this would this would be in the Wolody conversation. It would. You just you can't right. if you're a serious team, dude. And now it's more of to me it's it's actually how the game goes. Like if the Kings are up thirty, yeah. and all of a sudden you're losing, like. You may go into the game going like this doesn't have a candidate for it, but right. then the game becomes that. Then the game definitely becomes that. All right, three in the key tonight. Kings wrap. John Tesh, Chris Verlaud. Uh, who's in there? Who is that? Joe Jarose. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Sorry, I didn't know who it was. Who no, did you think it was? Who I, would it? I thought it was a because he's wearing oh, a yeah. shirt and, and, and khakis. And so I thought it was a salesperson coming up and stealing donuts, which I just found out were here during yeah. the break. And I was going to yell at them. Joe, Joe's, Joe's one of the guys. Yeah. And by, by the way, brought a waffle cookie thing. He did. That's right. Last we enjoyed week, those. Before, yeah, yeah. So he he is full. Yeah. Full, Go for full it. Full all access pass for Joe DeRose. Absolutely. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> three in the key. Go okay. Ahead. Here we go. Let's start with uh, Chris had him in who's hot, who's not. Keon Ellis. Dave, we're asking for Keon Ellis steals and blocks. Coming off the five block performance. Is this each and each or combined? Each and each. Uh, I'm going to go three and three. Three steals, three blocks. I'm going to say three and one. Chris? I'm going to say two and three. Three blocks. Look at that. All right. Malik Monk. <clears throat> we were just talking about him as well. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we want Monk Dunks and Monk Threes. Okay. Question about Monk Dunks. Yeah. Are these dunks that count? Yes. Okay. Not it, just televised dunks. Right. Okay. Monk dunks and threes. Monk dunks. By the way. But I can't dunk. Not for nothing. Speaking of helping out the Kings. Uh -huh. Want to make some money? Uh, how about a, how about a, a new dessert? Maybe um, maybe a milkshake and uh, three Oreo cookies. And and you got monk dunks. Nice. You dunk the Oreo in the shake. Yeah. Boom. Monk dunk. Okay. Monk dunk. New dessert. Golden One Center. Coming soon. It's okay. Okay, you're right. I'll think it through. Uh, monk, so monk dunks. Uh, monk I'm going to go with two monk dunks. Okay, and uh, four uh, monk threes. I'm going to go with zero monk dunks. Sorry, wow. he saves that for home. I hope you're wrong. And three monk threes. I'm going to say two dunks, four threes. That's the same mistake. Yeah. Oh, is that the same? Yep. Son of a. And then random stats. Something different. Something odd. Something weird. Something you're predicting. Um, I will say. The Kings will beat the Raptors. Don't write this down yet. The Kings will beat the Raptors so bad that they will actually be sent to Canadian prison as, like, for insulting the country yeah. and King Charles III, who is still the sovereign there. I learned that in the crowd. All right, I won't. But if that, that doesn't happen, yeah. um, I will say that we will not. We, we may see two monk dunks. We'll see a JaVale McGee dunk tonight. Oh. JaVale McGee, did you know this? When playing in Canada, averages 34 points per 36 minutes for his career. Look Pro it up. Probably. Yeah. 
I think. Yeah. I that's what I Dave.org. That's what I feel. Yes. Dot gov. Um, I'm gonna say double figures for Duarte. Oh. Yes. Double figure Duarte. That's double. what they called him in school. They did. They did. Chris. Chris. The Kings will not trail in this game. Wire to wire. Wow. Okay. A lot of confidence in Zooting. We'll talk to Canada's Katie Christensen okay. when we come back, and she will break all this down and more. Katie, right after the break. You never know what you might hear when listening to a Sacramento Kings game. Out of Keegan, going for another triple. Man, is he feeling it. Keegan, can he do it? Yes, there's number 11, Keegan Murray. Keegan steps back. He just knocked down his 12th three-pointer, a Kings franchise record. He's got 45 points. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with Sacktown Sports and the Sacktown Sports app. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn ever since I turned 40. I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think you could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenics Total T. I've heard about Nugenics. That really works. Since I started taking Nugenics, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep. Send a text. It's that easy. Text HATCH to 42424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text H-A-T-C-H to 42424. That's Hatch to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. You have Wi-Fi all over the house. Even in my hiding spots. Ha! Found ya. How? That's wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. Now through March 21st, get started with 200 megabit internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and get Wi-Fi equipment included. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless bill and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. It's Coach Doug Christie here to remind you, if you want a deal that's a slam dunk, go see the winning team at Folsom Lake Ford. Folsom Lake Ford is your truck headquarters with all your American-made favorites, like America's best-selling F-Series, F-150s, and Super Duties, or spacious new Explorers and Expeditions, plus a huge selection of Broncos and Bronco Sports, all in stock now at Folsom Lake Ford right here in Sacramento. You can buy any new Ford with zero down on approved credit, save big with low interest finance rates, and Folsom Lake Ford always pays top dollar for your trade. Check out the huge selection of inventory online at FolsomLakeFord.com or stop by the dealership to see their most recent arrivals. Looking for something special? Give them a call and tell them Doug Christie sent you. They'll help you out. Hurry to Folsom Lake Ford in the Folsom Auto Mall, your trusted dealer, my trusted dealer for over 35 years and counting. At Ashton and Price, over the last 25 years, we've won just about every injury case you can think of. Slip and fall, falling merchandise, fell through rotted decking, we won those. Dangerous stairs, falls into holes, dog bites, won them. Injured while pedestrian or on a bicycle, auto, motorcycle, big rig, company vehicle, Uber, or Lyft accident, we've won them all. And the best news is there's no fee until you win. So no matter how you got injured, remember, for the best advice, don't think twice. Call Ashton and Price. When you take the time to shop at Folsom Lake Honda, there's one thing you'll always find. Happy people ready to serve you. As a family-owned and operated dealership since 2009, customer service is our number one priority. Our customers love doing business with us, and you will too. Looking to own or lease? During the spring sales event, drive a brand new Accord or Civic. Visit us today at FolsomLakeHonda.com, your one-stop Honda shop. Folsom Lake Honda. Fidium Fiber Internet is fast becoming a hometown favorite. With a dedicated connection and speeds up to 2 gigs, Fidium is winning over fans every day. Plans start at just 25 bucks a month, so everyone can experience the best internet in the game. Visit FidiumFiber.com. Capital Casino conveniently located on 411 at North 16th Street in downtown Sacramento. From the Power Business Technology Toshiba Studios, KHTKAM Sacramento, KYMX HD2 Sacramento, the only station in Sacramento giving you local sports coverage from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Friday. Sacktown Sports.
The Carmichael Dave Show. He's on the microphone when he's not on the microphone. He's playing a song, and when he's not playing a song, he's on the microphone, and then boom. With Jason Ross. No, he did it. Yes, he did. Call or text at 916-339-1140. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Welcome back. Yep. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, as always, the pre-interview is over. She is ready to go. And uh, no secret, we've known Katie a long time. Yes. And uh, like anyone who travels full time, there's, you know, places you, I won't name any of those, places you don't want to go. Mm. You know, you know, certain stops. Sure. And there's, then there's places you love to go to. And uh, I know Katie is a huge fan of this road trip. Joining us right now, the analyst for the Sacramento Kings, the talented, the intelligent, the temperamental, mm-hmm. the <laughs> recovering from a foot injury. Yes. One only uh, makes her own dog food, not for her, but for her dogs. Katie Christensen, good morning. Good morning. Oh, my goodness. I threw like nine jokes in there, and two of them were very hidden. Did you get every one? Oh, my gosh. You're just lame. As long as you find you funny, I guess that's okay. Come on. There's some good ones. And my favorite ones are the ones that are jokes, but then they have another layer to them that I know you get. Oh, well, congratulations, Dave. I'll pat you on the back. Thank you. you. (laughs) The problem is, is that more often than not, they fly right over her head. And then I get uh, mad because she didn't get them. And then I don't really listen to you. Yeah, that's a great point. That, that now that is the truest thing. Uh, ever said, Katie, if the Kings lose tonight, will it be the worst loss of the year? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, sure, Dave. Does that answer your question? Does Would it be a worse <laughs> loss than Detroit at home? In your opinion. Wow. Why, why, do you, why, why do we start this off this Because way? Toronto I mean, is missing. Wanna... They've lost seven in a row, and they're missing half their team. <laughs> and the Kings seven are... Seven in a row, nine of their last ten. Yes. But they went to Denver, and they were up 20 against yes. the Nuggets in Denver. So the dangerous thing about teams that are missing a lot of guys, as we well know, is that the guys that are available are playing incredibly free. Um, So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is, I I love how people determine, like, you know, you look at the, the record and, and so on and so forth. And it's like, Oh, yep. That's a win in the win column. Like you have to go out and play every single game and it would be an incredibly disappointing loss. Yeah, it would. But I don't know if it's, you know, worst ranking, worst losses of the season yet while we're still in the middle of it. We call it Oloti, worst yeah. loss of the year. Would it be the best win of the year, though, Dave, if they won? No. <laughs> oh. No, just it would be a win, a very workmanlike, easy, not easy, but a routine okay. road win over a bad team by a serious team and not unserious team, a serious team looking to make a postseason run. That's what tonight's win would be. They're yeah, favored by I mean, 11 and a half. It's, it's, yeah, if you're if you're wanting to to you know be where your goal is, which is postseason, and preferably to have to not have to do it via the plan, yeah, this is a must win game tonight. But you know, this is a this is a rough road trip. Like, uh, it, they have to they have to really you know buckle down and take it seriously. You're playing at seven thirty tonight in Toronto, and then you play tomorrow night in Washington D.C. Which I don't know if anyone <laughs> wants to do the math in terms of how late you're going to be getting into Washington, D.C. Traveling to Canada is no joke. Like, we left at 10 a.m. yesterday, and I think we got to the hotel about 7 p.m. last night. And so, you know, when you think about, like, tonight we go through customs like everybody else. We go through the main airport. You take all your bags. You do the whole thing. And you're doing that at what time? 11 o'clock at night. Like, this is an an interesting back-to-back that the league scheduled. So, you know, when when you look at schedule, you have to look at, all of the components other than just the other teams, you know, win loss record, who they've got all these things. Like this is a challenging road trip and they have to take it incredibly seriously. The other night, Katie, um, the worst part about the game ended up being in the first two minutes, the injury to Kevin Herter, just, it, it, yeah. it didn't look good when it happened. Maybe the new, I don't know, maybe the news is slightly better. I, mm. I don't even know how to quantify it. Cause I don't know that we know for certain what the overall outcome and how long he would be out. But, um, I don't know what you know about that part. And just secondly, just um, him going through that, that as a former player yourself, that is just the worst part when you get hurt at any point, but certainly this late in the season has got to be really rough for Herder. 
Yeah, incredibly rough. And I don't know any of the details yet in terms of length and what's going on and, and all of that. Like, um, that's just something you kind of got to, you know, hope for the best and, and we'll see. You, you just, you want him to be healthy. I think the hardest thing as a player is that he hadn't played incredibly well in the game before against New York. And so, you know, if you're, if you're going to go down, you would prefer to have it be while you're playing well versus when you're trying to kind of, you know, garner up some or, you know, muster up some kind of momentum. Um, but injuries are tough. And the Kings have, you know, over the last two years, for the most part, been really, really healthy. And, you know, the injury to Trey and now the injury to, to Kevin Herter, like it's it put the Kings in a position where they have to be able to rely on kind of some of those, you know, second unit guys that, you know, haven't had consistent minutes throughout the season, but I have to take my hat off to, to Mike Brown because I talked about it on the broadcast the other day. Like a lot of coaches in this league, like in the beginning of the season, they'll kind of give some, you know, kind of second, third string guys some different opportunities. And if they don't take advantage or don't play kind of the way that the, the coaching staff wants them to play, you don't see them again. They're kind of bottom of the bench guys that, you know, you see a couple minutes in blowout games, right? But Mike Brown has been really, really good about with Davion Mitchell, uh, Keon Ellis, Chris Duarte, like those guys, like he's been great with going back to them and not, you know, waiting long stretches of time, going back to them, giving them another opportunity. They play, you know, you know, maybe 10 games where they're playing really well. So it kind of keeps them a motivated to be involved, um, keeps their confidence up and they've grown. And those guys specifically, those three, I think this, kind of segment of the season kind of post all-star break I think they've been fantastic and so that bodes well when you look at some injuries that are going on and you know with kind of two of the you know bigger guys if you will um, Kevin Herter is someone that can kind of float two three and sometimes in small lineups he'll put him at power forward but not really and then you've got you know you've got Trey Lyles who he can play three four five basically based on kind of small or big lineup you're going for um, and so to have those guys be the ones that are out, like I'm curious now to see what it's going to look like rotation wise and, and how Mike Brown is going to handle it. Um, but I think that, you know, Davion, Keon, um, Chris, lo- those guys have stepped up and I think that they have a lot of faith in them. Katie Christensen joining us. Um, I just want to go back to your previous answer just to kind of clarify some stuff we're seeing on the chat. And I, I get it. When you say this is a difficult road trip, you're you're talking schematically like on paper this is an incredibly easy road trip with the exception of travel yeah like yeah they there's they should buy all all things factor into it right all of those things factor into it um it, it it isn't just about like oh we go to the gym and we play a game and it's this is their record and this is he's available no there's there's a lot of other things that factor into kind of difficulty level and when you look at the king's um, strength of schedule from the very beginning of the season, third most difficult schedule in the NBA. And the reason that is, is you look at road trips like this. You look at distance traveled to play an opponent. You look at how many days the opponent has had off, like all of those things factor into strength of schedule and the Kings have the third most difficult schedule in the NBA. And you look at this road trip and then you look at the road trip that they have in April, they're going to go and they're going to play um, in New York, then go to Boston yeah. and come back to New York. Then they're going to go to OKC. Like that it, those sucks. are tough opponents back to back, like those types of th- three and four days against top level, you know, opponents, like those things factor into strength of schedule. So that's what I'm referring to. Katie, as far as, uh, you know, we just uh, referred to Herder and being out, we don't know how long, but that does mean opportunities for others, whether it's, uh, deeper in the rotation, guys, if that's uh, Davion or Duarte, but certainly Keon Ellis. What have you liked most about watching him play consistently now in the, with this group? I just love his defense. Like, I love, love, love his defense and the fact that he's going to he, – he actually gives – um, De'Aaron an opportunity to not have to to be kind of on the toughest perimeter um, opponent to start the game. He allows um, 
De'Aaron to kind of take a step and, and defend somebody else. And obviously there's a lot of switching and stuff, but to be the primary defender to start off on, on kind of, you know, the main guy, like the Jalen Brunson of the world, if you will. Um, and he, you know, he picks them up. He's a dogged defender and he's going to give it to them, you know, uh, a consistent approach and, and be tough on them the entire time. But then he also, from an offensive standpoint, I feel like he's gained a lot of confidence. And um, I think a lot of that is the way this offense works is, you know, everyone's going to get opportunities and no matter what, they want you to take shots. If you're open, you take the shot. Like sometimes when you're coming in, it's kind of like a second, third string guy when there's injuries, like you almost hesitate because yeah, it's an open shot, but am I supposed to take it? Do they want me to take it? But that's not how this offense works. And so I think that there's a lot of things that have kind of um, built up his confidence. But the thing I like about him, the most, he had five blocks the other night. I mean, come on. Like he is a really, really, really good defender. Katie Christensen joining us uh, talking about Toronto. We haven't talked to you since a couple of pretty, uh, pretty good games. I guess I'd say the uh, Grizzlies game, which was good despite the fact that it shouldn't have been. And the Knicks game on Saturday, let's go back to the Knicks game playoff atmosphere. There's blood in the air. It was physical as heck. Uh, I had made the comment to Jason. We talked about this, that uh, that referee crew, there are a lot of different ref crews that would have called that game completely differently. And we probably would have had a different result. That crew decided that night to let a lot of things go in that case. You and I haven't talked about it yet, but uh, what was your thought on the ref Saturday? Um, well, you did get a very angry phone call from me. See, about that, it. that was my joke, Katie. And, and clear, let yeah, me, let uh, me stop you. I, I won't say, I'm not going to say what, was in the conversation because no, I'll, I'll talk about it. Okay, because she calls me right after it. the game's over. I didn't even think she was done yet. Mm-hmm. I get a phone call yeah. seconds after the game's over, and it was one of those calls where I immediately went outside because I, I put it on speaker so I can hear better, and I held the phone like five feet away from my <laughs> ear, and I wanted to make sure my kids weren't listening to Aunt Katie talking yeah. to me about the game. Yeah, no, um, I, I'll start this off by saying I have – complete and utter respect for officials because they have, you know, a very difficult job. And I, I don't think, I don't think poorly of any of them as human beings or individuals or anything like that, Here but just comes. like anybody else in any other career, everyone can have a bad day. And that was the worst officiated game I've ever been a part of in my entire nearly two decades in the NBA. It was complete and utter, utter dog crap. It was awful. And they let it get out of control. They had, you know, they did not manage the game well. You know, DeMontis Phobos got slapped in the face twice on a triple team in one possession, and they call him for a double dribble. Like, I, 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 I Kyle was talking about the last two minute report um, in that game uh, following it against Memphis, and I didn't even bother looking at it. It was just off. It infuriated me to a level where I thought it was just ridiculous. And to call a game like that is really difficult because you never want to pile on to officials. You don't want to do that. And there is, a, you know, a certain component of it where normally those games even out. They look at things, they review things at halftime, and they're like, oh, we're missing some stuff. We're going to do it. Like the first play of the game, if memory serves correctly, was um, Hartenstein pulling DeMontis bonus to the ground from the waist. It was completely obvious. And Doug Christie, Mike Brown, Domas, I saw multiple times those three guys talk to the officials, showing them what they were doing to Domas in the low block. And it was like complete and utter uh, denial of that taking place. Like they didn't fix it. They didn't make it better. They didn't make adjustments. And the way that they let the game get out of control, the physicality of that game, that's how players get hurt. And well, were you surprised there wasn't that. a fight that night or at least a fracas? Yeah. You know, I, I if Trey Lyles were available. Right. That game, That's what we that said. Guy. Like, we don't really have guys on the team that are like that. Like, at one point, Domas was so frustrated. It was after that getting smacked in the face twice and then being called for the, the double dribble. Like, it was end of the game situation. Um, he kind of just threw his hands up in the air and shook his head. Like, we don't have personality and that's not a bad thing. You know, we don't have uh, many personalities on this team that are going to get to it, but you know, even seeing Malik Monk when he got fouled, sit on the courtside seats and just take a, 
a breath, like take a beat. He was so angry. You could tell the look on his face. He was so angry with what was going on um, that he like, he had to like kind of self-regulate for a second. And it, it kind of harkened to, it made me immediately think, and I think I said it to Kyle in the break of like malice in the palace when Ron Artest laid on the scores table. And if anyone's seen the documentary on that, he was talking about like he was seeing, seeing a therapist during that time. And he was having a hard time self-regulating and she was like, Hey, whenever you feel yourself about to kind of implode, if you will, lay flat, take a moment, take a breath. And that's when the beer was thrown and that's when it went into utter chaos. But that moment with Malik sitting on the sideline, it reminded me of that because I could see the frustration in Malik and him trying to self-regulate and just don't say anything, don't do anything, take a breath, calm yourself down for a split second. That was how out of control that game was. And I think it's a complete matter of failure by the officials to let a game go that way. Win or loss, I don't care. Even if the Kings had come out with the win, it doesn't matter. The way that game was officiated is dangerous, and that's how players get hurt. And from my perspective, that's the worst part about the whole thing because you don't want to ever, as a player, have your livelihood or your season put in jeopardy because the officials lose complete control of the game. You know, Katie, as part of that game, one of the takeaways I had was New York obviously was physical. We're talking about that, the way it was officiated or or they have, they let things go. But I thought the Kings handled the physicality, and if that's been a oh, question of them, so um, yeah. I was encouraged by that, even though it ended up in a loss. And so I think it was good for them to go through that kind of game. Yeah, I, I thought that they handled it well. I thought they matched it. I think they have really over the last four or five games, if you really look back, um, trying to remember because it all runs together um, with the, the Milwaukee game, the New York game, like there's been, they've done a really good job defensively here. I mean, going into the game against uh, Memphis, the, the three previous games, they were averaging, you know, holding their opponents under a hundred points game. Like defensively, I think that they have uh, kind of, you know, picked it up in terms of their physicality, um, their attention to detail, and that's a great thing. And I thought they did a great, great job in the Memphis game as well in terms of the physicality of it. So there has been some things that have come out of, you know, say this last five, four or five game stretch that I think are really, really promising. When you look at, and we've, this has kind of been a theme all year. When you look at a game like the Knicks, you guys just alluded to in a game like the Grizzlies. I, you know, I, I like a lot of people sit on the surface and go, well, if they play like they did against the Knicks, they're going to beat the Grizz by 25. The Grizz are missing, like, it, kind of like tonight. The Grizz are missing pretty much their team. And, uh, you know, next thing you know, what, what was the guy's name? Lawrence Arabia? Jake LaRavia. Jake LaRavia. <laughs> Jake LaRavia. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Hitting corner, whoever. Um, you know, like, can you put your – I get the whole, like, everyone gets paid. These are all NBA players. Uh, people have opportunities. But, like, ultimately, it's talent on talent. Like – if you're saying other players get opportunities and they're going to step up, then isn't the counter to that, well, our guys are getting complacent and not playing to the best of their ability mentally and physically because – I think that's easy. That's a, like an easy place to take it. Um, but is it wrong? That, uh, well, if you'll let me answer. Okay. I'll get you it interrupted me you. last time. We're having a conversation. Jeez. Well, I mean, I know where your question is going. Oh, so oh, instead oh. of waiting three minutes, I was just going to go ahead. Wow. And answer it Canadian uh, case <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I see where you're going with it. Obviously that I think that's a component. I'm not going to deny that it's not, but I also want to just from a, from, you know, the standpoint of looking on the other side of it, one of the benefits of, you know, players that are playing and, and stepping up when there are injuries is uh, there's two things. A, they're playing incredibly free, right? Which yeah. is what Memphis does, which is a hundred percent what Toronto does, which is why it's, they're dangerous. And they've, they've played in really close games during this, you know, last 10 game stretch of theirs where they've only won one game. But again, it's like they lack experience because there's a lot of injuries. So the thing about it, you play free, but also you don't have a great scout on a lot of these guys and so much of the scouting in this league is about, you know, understand uh, like it's so, it's so expensive. Like, Hey, in these situations, if he comes off of this screen action, he's going to go left. If he comes off this screen action, he's going to go right. And he's going to pull up to his left. Like it's, they do an incredible amount of scouting and, and just a deep dive into, you know, tendencies and things like that. And I have to give credit to the players. Like they know it, like they, they pay attention, they drill it. Um, they watch 
specific film on the guys that they're going to be defending. Like there's the extensive scout to that degree that really helps you prepare for a game. And, you know, to be honest with a lot of these young guys that are dealing with injuries, you just don't have them. So I think it kind of goes to, there's a lot of things that factor into it. And then of course there's the mental standpoint where it's like, Oh, whether you're aware of it or not, you're like, Oh, this is second, third string guys. Like it's, you know, not going to be as difficult, not going to be as challenging. And that's where you can kind of set yourself up for failure sometimes. So uh, how is your health? How's the foot from, <laughs> from Kyle stomping on it? The foot is okay. Kyle was very concerned. He actually checked in with me yesterday to make sure my foot is okay. It is totally fine. Kyle is very, gets very, very excited. And that's what, you know, makes him Kyle is that he, in those, like I might talk with my hands or whatever, Kyle, when he makes a, a call on a very exciting play like he jumps up out of the chair he's very excited excitable um and so i i just apparently my foot was was uh, collateral damage in that but <laughs> it is all good um how many hasn't he broken multiple chairs this year i think we're at like two or three okay. you know they've got wheels on them and so sometimes when you jump up and like the wheel like he snapped a wheel or two yeah and uh, finally, well, two questions. Number one, we're getting comments. Are you at a, are you at a zoo or a dog park? No, oh, yeah, I apologize, but I was at Team Film when I had to come on this interview, so I stepped outside. So while we've been on this interview, like it's on a floor where there's conferences, and now the players are coming out from breakfast and film, and so this is the reality. No, yeah. no need to apologize. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. It just sounded like a bunch of dogs. Uh, which, by the way, if you want another, if you want a puppy, uh, let's talk when you come back. <laughs> the dog sucks. Is the new puppy uh, giving you some difficulty? The dog sucks. That we need doggy Prozac. <laughs> it won't go to sleep. <laughs> uh, and then the question from the audience, which I think is a good one, Katie, because you do travel so much. Other than like clean socks and undies, the obvious stuff. What's like the one thing you travel with that you can't live without? Hmm. Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, I forgot my AirPods on this trip and I'm realizing mm. how critical those are. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right. No, I mean, I, I've been doing this for so long. Like my bags are like, I always keep my toiletries packed. Like when I unpack, when I come home from a trip, I repack the toiletries and, and, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, probably my AirPods, like they're, it's pretty yeah. <laughs> like for plane flights, you know, buses, like all of that. It's, um, I'm I'm learning that they're pretty important. <laughs> they don't have. They should have like team issue extra AirPods. It's an NBA team worth two, three billion dollars. Let's go! Oh my god! You know, a little Kings logo on them. Remember when we got the Kings logo headphones? Hmm. Yes, I do. It's a great moment. Yeah, you were so excited about those on the plane trip to China. They were yeah. there were headphones with the Kings logo on it. How the are you wearing now? How are you? No, these I made. Oh. I actually ordered the stickers and put them on myself. No, they were like branded on there. And Katie's like, yeah, they're headphones, Dave. Get over it. Boy, that was a fun 17-hour plane flight. <laughs> yeah, because that was when you had really not been flying for your whole adult life. And then all of a yeah, sudden sure. you got to go on this long trip and I got to be your seatmate and it was like everything was so exciting to you. And it I was, was. They had, they had warm cookies. They had a <laughs> menu. Like, been here before yeah i'm like no i'm like the kid with the golden ticket the, the willy wonka thing i'm doing somersaults yeah. and yeah. having a so it really was like traveling to china with a four-year-old i'm not i'm not over exaggerating that on that note katie christensen from her favorite yeah. stop on any trip toronto canada joining us to uh, <laughs> analyze and then some hey uh katie have a, have a great trip and uh we'll see you when you get back all right bye y'all don't forget bye. your airpods bye-bye love you she already did she did also get off the wallet and wow. buy a pair i'm pretty yeah, sure they have exchange Toronto. rate oh yeah they're all air poods <laughs> we'll take a break when we come back jason what to watch in the western conference tonight and malik monk speaks on returning to sacramento this just came out we've got the quote for you next our first year as the radio home of the San Francisco 49ers is one we will never forget. And here's Purdy going to throw one deep, wide for deep. Oh, made the catch on the back shoulder. Touchdown, San Francisco. And a back shoulder banger for Debo Samuel. Congratulations to the 49ers on a terrific year. 
and thank you for so many wonderful memories. The NBA app is everyone's app. Every fan of every team. Oh my goodness. Everyone who follows LeBron, Tatum, and Embiid in the app. Every warrior who's ready to go to battle over three-point percentages. Every streetwear king who's here for the tunnel fits. Every young buck, nugget, and grizzly who wants to take a peek behind the scenes of the league. And everyone else on this floating basketball we call Earth. Download the NBA app today. Available in the Google Play, Apple app, and Android stores. It's time to trade in and trade up at Northern California's number one Honda dealer, Stockton Honda. Whether you're shopping new or pre-owned, Stockton Honda has the selection and savings. Plus, get top dollar for your trade. Come in today or go to StocktonHonda.com. It's all a click away. Anytime, anywhere, it's all here. Based on 2022 total new and Honda certified pre-owned vehicle car sales from American Honda Motor Company's own one report. Subscribe to Sacktown Sports on YouTube and watch the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross, Styles and Watkins, and the Drive Guys. Live Monday through Friday from 6 to 6. Plus view archive shows and exclusive content. Subscribe at youtube.com slash Sacktown Sports. Sacramento weather is brought to you by Folsom Lake Kia. I'm Tamara Berg in the KCRA 3 Weather Center. Your Wednesday starts out nice and cool. Bit of a delta breeze out there to start the day. For the afternoon, expecting mostly sunny skies and highs today in the mid-70s. Get the latest forecast on the KCRA 3 News and the KCRA 3 app. Shop Folsom Lake Kia during their spring event and save big on your favorite models. You can even buy with zero down on approval of credit. Shop your trusted Kia dealership for over 25 years and tell them DC sent you. FolsomLakeKia.com. Dr. Ken Halachek and kinesiologist Kelsey Graham discuss the Good Feet Store. The foot has a lot of detail. It has a lot of complexity. There's a lot that can go wrong. A lot of problems start in the foot and end up elsewhere. Knee pain, hip pain, back pain. When aligning the feet properly, we can see relief elsewhere. And that's the beauty of the Good Feet Art support. It can place the feet into their ideal position and gives them the balance, the support, the comfort, and the relief of the pain. The bottom line is that the Good Feet Art support can be a highly effective pain relief solution when nothing else has worked. The feet have a really big impact on how the rest of the body moves. The knees, the hips, the lower back especially. If the foot isn't properly aligned, all of these joints are going to function incorrectly. That results in a lot of muscle tension and chronic pain. What I really like about the Good Feet system is that the right arch supports can put the foot in its proper alignment. So all the joints of the rest of the body will be aligned properly as well. And when the body's aligned, we can reduce the risk of injury and chronic pain. Visit the Good Feet store in Sacramento, Roseville, Modesto, Stockton, and Vacaville for a free fitting and test walk. The sewer system. It's probably the last thing on your mind, and that's okay. Because at the Sacramento Area Sewer District, it's our first priority. As the region's largest sewer utility, we own and maintain thousands of miles of sewer pipe. And our job is to get to your sewer problem before it interrupts your life. So whether you've got a slow drain or a backup, call us first, day or night. The Sacramento Area Sewer District. It's a dirty job, but we're happy to do it. Hey guys, do you know your tea level? Revive Men's Health here in Sacramento is helping you take that first step toward better health and enhanced intimacy with a free testosterone level test, exam, and consultation. Plus, for this month only, qualified patients can kickstart their treatment with a free supply of ED medication. Revive's customized ED treatments can provide immediate results, restore blood flow naturally, and even bring spontaneity back into your love life. With both in-person and telemedicine appointments available, plus free shipping directly to you, Revive takes the hassle out of treating low T and ED. Having an optimal testosterone level can change your whole life, and it starts with knowing your T level. Take that first step and book your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation, and kickstart your treatment with a free supply of ED medication this month only. Call Revive Men's Health Sacramento at 916-365-4566. That's 916-365-4566 or visit revivemenshealth.com. The weather's warming up, spring is here, and so is road trip season. And if you're saying, yeah, sure, I would love to load everything up in my car and hit the road and go on a long road trip, but I don't trust my car. It's not dependable. Well, then go see my friends at El Grove Kia. They'll get you into something dependable and super affordable, like a brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS for $19,988. Yep, at a time when the average new car price is over $48,000, El Grove Kia can get you into a brand new car for less than half of that. And this car's loaded with automatic transmission and eight inch touchscreen with rear camera. It's got advanced driver assistance system, so it's got tech and safety. 
And again, this brand new 2024 Kia Forte LXS can be yours for only $19,988. Only at the number one Sacramento Kia dealer, Elk Grove Kia and the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovekia.com. Elk Grove Kia sale price, $20,738. Kia rebate, $750. Net price, $19,988. One at this price, stock number GK9219. Expires March 31st, 2024. Hey, it's Carmichael Dave for American Energy Heating and Air with a question. Have you recently had a technician diagnose your HVAC system? You were a bit surprised at how much it cost, or did something seem off about their quote? Because at American Energy, they take pride in giving you honest, straightforward solutions to get that system up and running. Have their qualified technicians come out and give you a free second opinion. It's free. You got nothing to lose but some dollars off of that original quote. They're making the uncomfortable comfortable. They've been doing it since 1981, serving the greater Sacramento area A+. Plus with the Better Business Bureau, that's why they keep having customers coming back for more and more and more. You can call them and set that appointment at 916-520-9990. That's 916-520-9990 or AmericanEnergyAir.com. Call 916-520-9990 now. Country in the Park is back May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo with Brett Lee Gilbert, Dustin Lynch, Jay Cohen, Walker Hayes, and more. Tickets start at just 46 bucks. Country in the Park, May 17th and 18th at Cal Expo. For more information, visit CITPFest.com. Brought to you by California Army National Guard, Nature Wood Home Renishings, and RVs of Sacramento. Capital Casino, conveniently located on 411 North 16th Street in downtown Sacramento. <laughs> Best in local sports. It's the Carmichael Dave Show with Jason Ross on Sacktown Sports. Welcome back. Thanks to uh, what's your face? That'd be Katie Christian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good stuff. And, oh my uh, gosh, you're just lame. <laughs> <laughs> right? How uncalled for was that? She had that one in the chamber. She, she did. <laughs> she did. Now we appreciate her each and every one. This as D. Uh, Anthony Slater has a new article out in the uh, Athletic about Malik Monk. I uh, good in depth piece on Malik, the year he's having. Breaks down uh, a lot of stuff, some videos. All kinds of good stuff. Very, you know, I mean, shockingly, a very good, open, honest interview with me. Well, talks about the play uh, this year. Talks about golf. Um, then the, the, the game the, of golf. The very end. Uh, they get to uh, Malik's future in Sacramento, and um, when talking about the sixth man. He's expected to win it, and they acknowledge that. But it says Monk admitted it's an award he desires. But don't mistake that for a full-on embrace. We can now finally put to bed a conversation we've had a couple times this year. He doesn't necessarily love the fact that he never starts. Mm. Quote. (laughs) Sorry, it's just there's not a lot of ambiguity with with Malik Monk. (laughs) Quote. Hell no. Hell no, I don't like it. But S word, it's what I got to do for us to win and play better. So I just take the role head on. There you go. Malik Monk wants to start, but he gets it. And that makes me even love him more. Hmm. Uh, they they go on to his free agency. Two-year deal about to expire because it's so low. CBA rules limit the type of raise the Kings can offer him this summer, perhaps opening up the door for a cap space team like the Pistons, Sixers, or Spurs to spike his salary out of the King's range if they desire. King's front office tried to plan for this. Part of the motivation for the Rashawn Holmes trade this past summer was to increase what they could pay Monk. They want him around long-term, but the projected max starting salary, I believe he's making $9 million this year. Uh, bargain. Very much. The projected max starting salary they can give him. Next. I just say, too, 
I think it was a two-year, $18 million deal money. That should go up there with, like, mm-hmm. drafting Tyrese Halliburton, the trade for City, all, all this stuff. Like, yeah. we don't, I think, give enough credit for the fact that they arguably have, other than rookie deal, they have the, maybe the best bargain in the NBA right now. Um, anyways, projected max starting salary, they could give Malik Monk that it would be $17.4 million, which would translate into a four-year $77.9 million max offer if it's ended out with the highest allowable raises. Now, we've talked before about a one-year deal, a two-year with an opt-out uh, to give full bird rights. I can't imagine it would be four, it is four years, 77. Let's go. sign him. Yeah. Um, anyway, Monk has made clear, according to him, his desire to return. But he's experienced the business side of the league and the unpredictable variables that remain in play. When any choices are made, he's trying to cap off the season with an individual award and playoff. When asked whether or not he wanted to stay, he said this. That's not, no, that is not, that is not what he, that, that is not what he said. But that's not audio, that's mug. Not on, that is not real. When <laughs> asked. Quote, depends on what we do in the postseason as well. But I'd love to be here, got comfortable here, made a lot of new friends, met a lot of great people. The city loves me. I love the city. So, yeah, I'd love to come back. So, uh, I'm like, I'm like super happy and confused. Not confused, but like, as we talked about before, he knows these numbers. Yeah. His agent has told him this. The Kings say, like Mike Brown's quoted in this article, like, we want him back badly. Right. So knowing that, I guess, and maybe I'm reading too much into this, Jason, because I'm a worry wart, but it's like he has the ability to be like, oh, no, I'm coming back. Like, I know what they can offer me, and I'm going to take it, but he's not saying that. And it all depends on what we do in the post. Right. Yeah, that's what, what I was thinking mean? because – that's why I would never say people need to make decisions right after something right. ends. So let's just case in point, take it like last year. If the Kings lost the seven game series and the seventh game home, though he had a very good series, emotionally after that, if right away you're hearing, hey, Team X is going to offer you a starting position and $25 million per year, you're pretty emotionally fragile, right? right? You're upset you just lost, even if you like Sacramento. So, um, yeah, Kings have to be doing their work now and really hoping that uh, what they're building is something that attracts Malik. Uh, let's go the lawn. Honestly, we should go. Actually, this isn't a bad idea. We've got connections on this one. Let's, let's guys, we're looking for content. Let's get to work on. I'm going to go down to sales at the end of the show. We should get to work on some of these local golf houses, some of these courses. Uh, we're partners with Timber Creek. Mm-hmm. There's one, and let's let's get a grab bag of. There's nothing in the CBA preventing us from bribing Willie Clunk, correct? I don't think so. Yeah. That we're the flagship. We're not a team. We're not a team. I mean, as far as we're associated to the league, I think we should get a an um, like one of the Manila envelopes with a bunch of certificates. For free golf for Malik. I understand he doesn't need the – he's got money. I get it. I'm just saying it's a lot to count. Yeah. I think we should just get one card made, Monk card, to where that's accepted at every golf course. Yeah. That's actually and, not a bad and idea. It's one of one, and, then, and he has it. And then, like, list the courses that would be willing to give him free golf. Yeah. Or he and three of his friends, right? Because you want to play it. He plays with Keegan and he plays with uh, uh, Herder. Probably not for a while. Right? And, and you if know, you've got that, then you've got the players like, dude, you got to stay. And you know what? If you're a golf course person out there, and we'll we'll like we'll pop that up. And we'll be like, hey, participate. I'm popping out of my ass now because they don't get mad at me. But we should do that, like for real, and present him. Yes, with a monk card, one of one, and this gets you into all these golf courses. For the duration of your stay in Sacramento, the moment that team's contract expires, whether it's this summer or four years from now, you're gone. Your card's gone. Your card's gone. That's what we say. Expires when your when your final contract with Sacramento expires. And if he retires, life lifetime. Lifetime. Yeah. If you retire as a Sacramento King, lifetime. Ooh, what if we trade? Eh, gone. Yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah. This is part of it. Okay, we'll work on that. We'll take a break. When we come back, uh, you want to cross talk? I would like to. Also, by it's the way, during show, Kings, Kings Raptors tonight, Jazz Thunder, Grizz Warriors, Sixers Suns, and the Kings that should not be an act. We'll take a break and we'll come back. We speak to the fastest growing radio show in Sacramento, South the Watkins, and something that they had an idea about. We're all here to, to help out. We, we, we have to see progress. To that next, along with ELO tickets, 1 800 920 We'll take the fourth caller right now to go see Jeff Lynn's ELO at Golden One Center October 23rd. All you got to do again, hit up the Pulse Play Con hotline right now. Look for caller number four before that pair of tickets to pull up for Jeff Lynn's ELO Golden One Center October 23rd. On the move, got somewhere to be. Take Sacramento Kings basketball with you. The Sacramento Sports app will let you stay connected to your passion. Never miss a moment of Sacramento Kings basketball with the Sacktown Sports app. What's up? We're talking to Chad Hoblet of Hoblet Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram. Chad, what's going on for Dodge Power Shot Days? A special sale on the very last of the new 2023 Dodge Charger and Challengers with savings up to 12000 off MSRP. That means you can save up to 33% on some classic American muscle, starting as low as $24,520. Don't miss your chance to own a piece of history with the very last of the V8 scat packs. Wow, up to 33% off? Hey, that seems impossible. We do things a little different here at Hot. We're here to help you find the vehicle you need at the best possible price. That's why we don't want to do the markup, size add-ons, or fees. At Hoblet, you get the call experience with big city savings and selection. There's no better time to take advantage of your savings at Hoblet to see their full selection at hobletdodge.com. Unbeatable prices, unbeatable selection. Nobody beats Hoblet, period. 12,000 total net savings after 6330 factory rebates and 5580 dealer discounts. Rebates may include 500 personal corner bonus a member of eligible first responder association and California resident. 20 percent savings to dealer for details. Here's some expense. Don't drive all over searching for the lowest prices. Just download the free app right now and get cash back for every gallon of gas you buy. I've already made around 200 bucks. You can make that kind of cash back just for buying gas. I'm stopping now to download Upside and fill up my tank. Download the free Upside app to earn real cash back every time you buy gas. Cash out any time to your bank account, PayPal, or any gift card. Download the free Upside app now and use promo code GIFT for an extra 25 cents per gallon cash back on your first fill up. That's promo code GIFT. Imagine your team always looking and feeling their best in high-performance technical workwear. Cintas can make it happen. They have garments for almost every job imaginable. The Cintas Workwear Program, you get freshly laundered garments delivered every week for everyone on your team. Great garments without the bother of laundry. That's a real perk for employees. Find out how Cintas can boost team image and morale. Visit Cintas.com and get ready for the workday. It's one thing falling in love with a house, picturing yourself moving in and calling it home, and quite another navigating the world of price negotiating, lenders, and finding the budget that works best for you. An agent who's a Realtor can make understanding that world easier. Realtors have the expertise, access to proprietary data, and tools to help you get from imagining living somewhere to actually doing it. That's the kind of help we can provide. Because that's who we are. Realtors are members of the National Association of Realtors. Savings. Now that's speaking the Lowe's language. And with my Lowe's rewards, your savings just keep coming. Save money with member-only offers and earn points when you shop. More points equal more rewards just for you because Lowe's knows you earned it, literally. Learn more about our new loyalty program at Lowe's.com slash Rewards. Program subject to terms and conditions. Points are awarded on eligible purchases. See Lowe's.com slash terms for full details. Subject to change. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event is on. Get out there this season in a powerful new Toyota truck. Tear it up on or off the road and explore every terrain with Toyota's industry-leading reliability. Right now, get low 1.99% APR financing on the powerful 2024 Tundra and Tundra Hybrid. Or check out the all-new redesigned 2024 Tacoma. Hurry in. Toyota's Ready, Set, Go sales event ends soon. Toyota, let's go places. Offer available through TFS to buyers of premium rated credit. Excludes TRD Pro and Sport 124. Sacramento, a true warrior in the world of entertainment. Actor, musician, comedian, and ex-SNL writer, Hannibal Burris will be coming to the Crest Theater this Friday, March 22nd. Tickets are on sale now. Get yours at eventbrite.com. 
Birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends, and nothing brings family and friends together better than freshly baked and home-delivered crumble cookies. All guests come to you from the Folsom Lake Honda hotline, Folsom Lake Honda, your one-stop Honda shop. It's time for the news of the day. The latest headlines, the biggest stories, hard-hitting analysis. Yeah, this is none of those things. And now, here's Carmichael Dave and Jason Ross. Hey! 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 Good morning. Good morning. Fastest growing radio show in the world. Oh my gosh, you're just lame. You're lame. Great. Yeah. Great. You like our idea we just came up with? We're going to get a monk card and present it to Malik, and we're going to get golf courses right on. As long as he's a king, we get golf I like that. Just present it. Yeah. Hey, during the break, Jason. I had a uh, friend call that knows him. I'm in. 100%. Yeah. We're in. 100% now. We're in. Yeah. Um, speaking I'm, of. Speaking yeah. of. Week month. Yeah, right. so. Update. Uh-huh. During the show. So yesterday, a caller called in and said, hey, instead of playing the sounder thing, which is cool but weird, uh, after Malik Monk scores, um, play We Want the Funk. That's right. We want the uh, yeah. funk. Yeah. And you guys loved it. Put it out there. Mm-hmm. King's Game Ops has now been in form. Wow. Yeah, that happened. That wow. happened. Yeah, that's called crop. That's, that's, that's called we're, we all hands rise together yeah. or whatever they yeah. say. They, they just, and they said absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> I know. That's, yeah. They're like, no. Yeah. That's copyright. Uh, no, and uh, it will be the stuff. Wow. I, that's all I got yeah. so far. The bouncing ball thing. Yeah. You guys are. That's that's it. That's it. That's all. That's, that's it's it's the whole way. thing. It's yeah. It separates the. Uh, you it's, hear some doing it. They're, they're, they're they, they don't know. Everybody understands the bouncing ball. Yeah. Everyone. I mean, everybody. Looking glass half empty, like I usually do. Uh-huh. Doesn't this feel like it's no longer grassroots type of fandom? Well, yeah. No, no. No. I mean, I get what he's saying, but like, it is grassroots. The fans did this, but like, we're just a conduit. Yeah. But, but the thing. But the thing is. We are not in the position of fans anymore because we get to go to games very often. If you're just randomly there, why the heck would you know? We took calls yesterday and people had, by the time you catch on, it's the fourth quarter and the yeah. game's over. Right. 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 You have to take, this could be their only game. Right. There's no time to waste. Yes. I think There's no time to waste. This is where live and local is the best because what we're just basically trying to be an avatar yeah. for the fans, for the grassroots, right. and they don't for have a megaphone. Right. Right. And so, we come up with the, they come up with stuff. We and then hey, we're just trying to help. Maybe they trust me. There's some ideas they've rejected. I look at it from the other fans' point of view, mm-hmm. like how if another team was doing them. How would I? I'd be like, flame. Well, yeah. They need like freaking people that tell them how to sing songs in well, a game. That's just you know what? Because you're a soccer fan. Yeah. That's a soccer. Fan that's a soccer thing. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, out there yeah. in the bay, yeah, they don't have nothing. 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 This anywhere. Nothing. That's Nothing. exactly what I'm thinking about. Oh, they're singing songs while we're winning championships. Yeah, exactly. Oh, and you know what? Those yeah. people smell their own fart. Yeah. Like, let's just be <laughs> honest. Gotta, you okay, got to make sure you're healthy. You, have to sure you you're do. Right. Um, also, more on that. Uh, <laughs> the, the other thing is, um, like we talked about before, like I have dreamed for years of sometime, first time out in the fourth quarter, something like that, like having a team style fight song. Yeah. That gets sung yeah. like you know, like like when they do the national anthem, it's just the crowd singing it, and it's like, oh my god, like goosebumps. Like one day in my lifetime, I want there to be it would it would be just like in soccer where you write the lyrics to the tune of you know God Save the Queen or something. Everybody yeah. knows the tune too, and then everyone's singing it coming out of the fourth quarter. We're in the playoffs, and Mike Breen's like that sound you hear is unique to the city of Sacramento. Da, 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 da. You got like opposing players looking around like what the hell is going on, and there's eight. I was just belting it out right down on like there's so much untapped potential we have. I do feel like you can't do too much. Oh right? come on! Because you got you you got the beam already. Can you do song and beam? You can do song. You can do beam. You can do Keegan Murray. You can do no. Those are in well, game is different. I'm yeah. talking about now. You have a beam and now you have an official chant. Well, that's what we call benchmark. No, we, do it, we do it in radio. You need them to finish the show. <laughs> it's what gets us through summertime. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, celebrity birthdays. Uh, I don't know if you know this. Hey, Chris, what's up? 
Uh, birthdays are meant to be spent with family and friends. And, you know, uh, nothing brings family and friends together uh, better than crumble cookies. Also, I got to be careful here. Really good to eat during any form of sporting tournament. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> good job. Yeah, we, I read the letter. By the way, you missed I national. almost made a joke and said another tournament, and then I'm like, oh, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> you missed national laugh out loud or laughing day yesterday? Really? How did you miss that? Did you miss national LOL day? Well, yeah. Wasn't Sloppy Joe day yesterday? Maybe that dominated yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of You're just still thinking. Yeah, I'm still thinking. It's good for this. Uh, celebrity birthdays. Not yeah. today yet, right? Tomorrow? Ah, tomorrow, tomorrow last for, yeah, oh. last show at this age. Okay. Oh, for, uh, for today though, March twentieth. Happy birthday to Pat. No, uh, not to lie. Wait, hey, say Jack, why am I blanking? Who's the guy that would always do like the Brent Musburger NBA Finals? O'Brien. Pat, Pat O'Brien. O'Brien. I'm Pat O'Brien. Yes, Burl. Uh, Pat. Oh, say Jack's a good one. Uh, Summerall. Pat. Rick. Oh, okay, Pat Riley. Oh, uh, uh, Pat Riley is guy okay, looks Whoa. 50, but Pat Riley is 76, 74, right? Uh, 78, Ooh. 79. We have a correct answer. It goes to Chris Pod. 79 Whoa. for Pat wow. Riley. Happy birthday, Spike Lee. Yes, Spike Lee. Oh, Spike's it's big 7 0 today for Spike. Wow. That's crazy. 69. I'll go 67. 65. We have a correct answer, and it goes to Chris Watkins, wow. 67. Oh Happy birthday, Mookie. That's nice. Blaylock. 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 Wilson. Blaylock. Yeah. Wait, Wilson? Wait, Blaylock. Used to be the original name of the band Pro Jam, by the way. Oh, oh yeah. Fun fact that, for you. Yeah. Uh, Mookie is 52. Yeah, that's yeah. What I, exactly what I was going to say. 54. Um, I'll say 52. 53. Alan's close to 57. Oh, oh, I don't like and, that. And uh, radio legend Mike Francis. Hey, we just talked about him earlier. Yeah. Uh, he's 71. 72. I think he's like 75. He's 73. Uh, he's 70. I don't remember who said 71. But wow. He's hey, who gave away a Hannibal Burst ticket yesterday? We did. We did. Why is it still? Uh, I do it again. You're the one who crinkled it. I yes. think that was an accident. I thought it was from last. That's week. a good. No, bit. that was an accident. Good honest bit. to God, it was. And I, I even did the whole thing. It's Wednesday like on the other side. Sometimes really? I get. Sometimes I get same. given new ones. The same read every day. Oh, I get that. But I, I thought you get like a new sheet every day. Yes, waste of paper. All right. Well, saving trees and more—the best growing radio show in the world. That was Watkins coming. The NFL's leading rusher plays here. The handoff to McCaffrey walks in the end zone. Handoff to McCaffrey takes it right out of the goal line. He does his thing again. McCaffrey goes in motion right. Backwards pass led by Juszczyk. A block there. Hurdles the man. 10-5. Touchdown. C-M-C. You can hear all of Christian McCaffrey's touchdowns.